Yo, chat, what up, dudes? Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Whoa, why am I hearing Yo, myself? Chat, oh. what up, dudes? There we go, that's why. That's something unmuted. What up? Happy Saturday, folks. Hope y'all are well. Let me catch up on chat. Y'all have been going nuts already. Me, Sheep! Noty Gang, what up, dude? Extreme Sparkles, hello. W stream incoming? Uh, it's an RP stream. It's not necessarily a W stream, but it's an RP stream. Ash, hello! Welcome in. Vorpal, thank you for the 40 months! Goddamn tier two big boy sub. Holy shit. Four years almost, my guy. Dude, thank you. Thank you for the continued love and support, man. I appreciate you. Ash is tackling Vorpal. I'll uh, be looking for some dream light. Madam, hello. Good to see you again. Good to see everybody. It's been a rough time. It's been a rough month. It's, uh. Grabs Ash and runs. <laughs> Sparkles, hey yo! <laughs> it's been a very rough month, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't even know where to begin. To be fair, uh, it's not gonna be easier any easier in game. Wire Wolf, I know, I know. Hutch, I actually. So I'll get to that here in a minute. So this month has been been bad. Uh, it there's been a lot of shit going on and a lot of realizations for me and a lot of mental health kind of moments for me too so it's been a very rough month uh to say the least but we're getting through it i'm addressing it i'm trying to stay in tune with it uh so that way i can continue to be a better me and if you guys notice something please keep me in check i'm not the best i will never claim to be the best and if you guys are noticing something like, absolutely, please tell me. Um, like, it it nearly cost me a lot of things that I hold very, very dear. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want to lose the... I don't want to lose what I've been able to put together. Um, <laughs> we're not going to have anything because there's something he does not know. OOC, right, chat? Uh... So, madam, let's talk about what Hutch does know because I was around yesterday for a short little while. <sighs> we're not going to meta. I mean, I know we're not. Sparkles likes to just emotionally terror me as it is. So, I mean, there's nothing new. 
Uh, life is hard, but you're real. Keep pushing forward. Thank you, Mishi. I appreciate that, man. Um, and I'm going to keep trying to push forward. And I want to keep everybody around me, too. So I'm going to I'm gonna throttle off the wild RP a little bit here and there as we go. And I'm going to try to hey, stay more into... Um, into some variety too. So we'll we'll keep some game nights open. We'll get people together. We'll do stuff. I've behaved for now. Okay, look. I know what's coming for you. Uh, I'm sure you know just in case something you don't know. I went to bed early last night, so I have no clue. Yeah, we'll find out. Uh, taking a step back from my RP viewing. Yeah, a lot of people have taken step backs lately. Um. And that's been good, and I'm seeing a lot of, of good, familiar faces come back, too. Which, also, very nice to see. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I wish I had a recorded a chat, because I have never had the ugly sob cry happen on stream in RP, and I had it happen last night. Um, so I'll give you guys some recap because I, I should have recorded, but I didn't. So, uh, Hutch got into black water and ran into Rusan and Porter. He walked in and Rusan chimes in and says, holy shit, is that Hutch? Yeah, it's me. Uh... Like, well, it's good to see you. I could see you guys, too. I've been gone for a month. I need to clear my head kind of deal. And they're like, well, the crossing ain't any better since you left. I'm like, well, fuck. What's going on? Um, they dropped the bombshell about Malone. Which Hutch was like, holy shit. Okay, we have a sheriff gone. They then turned around and said, I don't know if you know, but we lost two seniors recently. And Hutch was like, no, I didn't know. Who did we lose? And that was when he found out about Redding and he found out about Audrey. And he immediately turned around and slammed his fist into the bars in black water right in front of Porter and, uh, and Rusan. More or less was like, what the fuck happened? And all he gets is, it was the Pruitts, but we got him. He's like, tell me more. And they really didn't. Um, so I started flipping through paperwork, looking for reports, just nothing was making sense. So we went and we telegrammed uh, we went and telegrammed Wiley. Wiley telegrams us back very shortly after and says, Hey, I want to catch up. It's good to hear from you. We're going hunting cannibals, though. Do you? Uh, and he's like, I need another. And I'm like, well, fuck, sign me up. So I inadvertently, unplanned, go on duty. Off camera, and we go, you know, we go right around. And then we come back to Blackwater. And Hutch and Wiley have a very, very slow ride together back from Blackwater to Rhodes. Uh, and during that, Hutch lost it. I broke, Hutch broke, and it was an ugly fucking cry, dudes. It was one of those like, <laughs> you know, it was one of those kind of cries. Um, like it, it was, it was bad. And. Uh, we found out that the funeral signups were there. Somebody has placed Hutch on the list before Hutch even got back. I know who, and I appreciate them very much for doing it. Uh, and we will be streaming that funeral tonight. So I know about Redding. I know about Audrey. I know about Malone. I know about the Pruitts. I know about Buffalo Pruitt. That's about all I know right now. Oh, and we also caught up on ABC because apparently I'm still the lead on ABC, by the way. <laughs> so... <laughs> Apparently that's a fucking thing. I'm still the lead on that goddamn case. Um, so yeah, that's about it. How have you guys been? I feel like I haven't chatted with a lot of y'all in fucking forever. I don't like this. Uh, there's one more thing you don't know, but I'll let it be a surprise. Ooh, ooh, Wirewolf giving me the tease. I like it been sick man ah oh, dude i'm sorry to hear that i i have been i've been skirting with sickness but uh thankfully i have been able to keep it at bay i started having some sore throats and i'll tell you guys what man an army of throat lozenges and emergency have been great you feel like arthur morgan oof uh, i've been making my crim we'd be vibing in the west nice i don't know if i'm gonna do any crim rp yet uh i don't know if i'm gonna bring 
We got old Bannister back yet. I don't think I'm ready to bring him back. Um, I might get on Marcus every now and then and let Marcus just be aggressive. So we might do that. We'll see. Um, because I keep trying to get him involved in stuff and it just... So, I don't know. He's like the story killer. Uh... Finally able to do so cross fingers is good. Hell yeah. Well here we go. Hopefully that's that. Um But yeah, so chatted with Squeaks. Hutch and Penny still wedding is still on. Um we talked about some potentials for things. So Ash, fingers crossed. Hopefully we can game soon. Um and another note, guys, been walking a ton too. Uh IRL, so the weight loss continues, though I'm changing it up a little bit. I'm not trying to walk as much because, like, my legs and my waist have been losing a ton, but my, like, my midsection's kind of holding on, so I'm really top-heavy right now. Um, did Dad get his invite? Did you check your telegrams yet, Sparkles? Because I've certainly fucking replied. <laughs> awesome, remember? Yeah, we're getting it. So, uh, 10 inches off the waist, trying to lose more in the midsection because, like, I'm really top-heavy. Uh, so I think what we're going to incorporate... Um, I haven't been on audio. Well, 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 blah. you know, don't worry. I'll be there though. I'll be there. Um, but yes, we've, we've really been working on that. Uh, you know, today cause of reasons. Yeah. Cause of reasons. Everything is fine. This is fine. Um, But yeah, so we've been we've been really focused on that. It's been still going pretty well. Ladybug is officially home. Uh, dieting too? Yes. Uh, try it. Well, at first there was a big heavy diet regimen, then I've kind of I've kind of unraveled that a little bit to incorporate a little more calories in because when I was going hard on keto with Factor, which thank you for their sponsorship back in February, that really kick started all this. Um, I, I pulled that back because financially I can't afford it right now. Like I, I can't afford to do any diet at the moment. So it's like, I have to live cheaply. Uh, so I'm just really playing the calorie count game um, and a lot of physical activity to boot. So I think what we're going to do is like when we start doing variety segments, whether I'm playing like D4 or Sea of Thieves or Mine, you know, whatever we get into, um, I'm going to incorporate a thing for like, and this is going to sound sleazy and I don't, want it to be but i need it to be if this makes sense guys so basically put for gift subs or bits or whatever we're gonna set a certain goal and i'm gonna start doing like air squats or you know jumping jacks or something to help incorporate some more of that physical activity to myself for events here so you know you guys get a little bit of that and that'll that'll kind of keep us going um i don't want it to be monetized but i need it to be because like right now financially it just things are tough um my cost of living is greatly up right now and it, it just it sucks but what do i think of the new twitch stuff i think it's awesome um yo send thank you for the sub two weeks in or two months in a row with a prime thank you so much buddy i appreciate it um it's a motivator yes yeah, happy send what up bud how we doing hope you're well I know you've been struggling. They've been thinking about you a lot, dude. Um, all the love to you, man. But, uh, but yeah, I think a lot of the stuff on Twitch, um, the multi-streaming is a very good thing. I don't like a few of the caveats to it, though, where, like, you can't have something that redirects because maybe somebody is on one of those other platforms and mains it and has stuff set up there and it's just kind of visiting here or, you know, what whatnot. I, I don't like a couple of small caveats, but I do appreciate that we can now multi-stream so i will tell you guys it's active i won't tell you where um you know well i told you guys in discord but i don't have anything that says that i do have a link that you know gives you all my socials which is the normal stuff but i hope you're doing good too i'm a little bit better there's been a lot of needed conversations that have happened and things i've needed to express and have expressed to me in, in, in healthy ways so we're, we're working through that and that's good um, especially with people that I, I really deeply care about and love dearly. Uh, so that's, that's been a huge plus, but, uh, but we're getting there slowly, but surely we're getting there one step at a time, one day at a time. And, you know, being willing to be open about what is being felt and what is not being felt kind of feel. So but we're good. Uh, but yeah, so we're, 
the multi-streaming I'm really liking. Um, I'm in agreement with a lot of folks like Harris Heller that Twitch is moving in a very good direction overall. I think, uh, I think, what's his name? Don Clancy. I think is the, uh, the CEO now of Twitch. I think he's taking things in the right direction. Uh, finally. And there's been a lot of open admits that I've been seeing come out in articles lately. I think I saw one recently where, you know, the communication policy was, was very concealing and, and suspicious and, and very non-transparent. Um, and that's being worked to be changed. I really like that. Uh, I like that, you know, they're list they're starting to listen more to their creators. And another big one that I saw recently is they are going to stop bidding for the big names and they're going to start focusing on their smaller to mid-level creators. And I think for Twitch, that is the fucking play that needed to happen because you have this very, very tiny, like 0.01% of like the top streamers, the big ones, you know, your Tim the Tatmans, your Ninjas, your Dr. Lupos uh, kind of deal. But, um, you know, and it's fine to have a couple of those big poster boy names up there. That's fine. But what's the rest of the meat and potatoes? It's the small to mid-level guys. It's the folks like me that, you know, when we run RP or we run our main game, you know, we're 20, 30 deep. And we kind of get stuck there because you see people at the top with thousands of views, then a few hundred. And then there's usually a gap between 50 to 60. <laughs> um... And that's really good. I think it's time they focus on... Small. Yeah, and and Don Clancy has come out and said that that is the direction they're going to go. I think that is a very good direction. And I think it needs to be a good hodgepodge, really, of what streamers they focus on trying to keep and, and focus on. Because you still need the big-name poster boys, because they do bring in a lot of people, and they do bring in revenue. Yes, I will admit, financially speaking, that's there. But when you have the smaller communities the good ones that people say, hey, this is a really good creator time and time again, but they get shadowed out time and time again. Those are the people that are more inclined to leave the platform and take a ton of resources with them. And that ends up, you know, you lose enough of those, that shit starts to hurt. Um, we need to make, I need the most help. So yeah, and I mean, it's not that we as streamers need help. I don't do this for money. The extra money helps, I'll be honest. Uh, it does help. But I'm also going to start door dashing soon because I need the fucking cash. Um, but it, it would be nice to build a brand for those of us that want to build something revolving around content creation who, you know, to give us a chance because really you have all of these big higher level names that are up here and, and most everyone gravitates towards them. And the folks like us, we're stuck on the outside looking in. And we're trying to claw and find every single solitary way that we can to maybe one day get into that circle. And sometimes we get lucky and get there. And sometimes you can be the best, have the best production, this, that, and the other, and you're still stuck at the fucking bottom. Just by pure happenstance, because there was no platform support for you. Or there was, you know, your community that stayed there, but then, the, you know, they went in waves. You get a, you know, get a small core forming and then pff, they're gone. You get a small core forming and pff, they're gone. Because that has happened to me. And what I've observed in five and a half years of streaming is we'll get a good solid core, you know, five, six, seven people that start going real deep. And then life likes to rear its ugly head to either me or to them or to both. And then that solid core scatters. And then I, you know, then for this community, I have to start working to rebuild again at that core. And that's where it's hardest. I have to reset because life gets in the way. And that's where the focus really should be is, is those of us that are, you know, want to share the experience, that want to do this, want to do that. You know, I don't want to do this for money. I don't want to make a career out of this. I want to just have fun. I want to share things. If it becomes a career, it's great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not asked either way. That's the truth of the matter. So. But I do think Twitch as a whole, especially with what we saw at TwitchCon, I think it's moving in the right direction. I think there's a lot of good things happening. I think there still are a lot of skeletons in the closet that just need to get pulled out and, and addressed. And I think Don Clancy is working on that. So I'm going to keep watching and see what they do. Uh, but I think Twitch has had a lot, couple of huge big wins lately, which is what they've really needed uh, is momentum in the right direction. Because I mean, you think they've had a lot of serious losses in the scope of streaming and content creation. Uh, and there's been a few big players that have come into things recently. You know, YouTube and Kick and 
uh, other platforms that, you know, it needs to be that hard look. So I think Don Clancy is really making a good move of it. So we'll see what happens. We will see. <laughs> it's completely yet to be determined, but I'm excited for the changes that are made, and I hope that this direction that we're shifting towards... I really hope that's the direction that Twitch starts to move towards, is focusing on the people that make up the bulk of the community. You know, the, the folks like myself, the folks like Harris Heller, who sits there a couple hundred, you know, per stream. Uh, the folks like, um... Fuck, who else? Uh, my former friend Earlswood, who, you know, he would hover 100 to, you know, 75 to 100 most of the time, and really wouldn't crack that unless it was, like, you know, big raids... You know, but it would it would kind of hover there, and it could never clear the, uh, clear the ceiling. So I think that'll be really good. But all right, guys, we've chatted for about twenty minutes. Anybody else got anything fun going on? By the way, the whole stories thing on Twitch, like why? Why? Just no. I I don't use the Twitch mobile app. I never have. I never will. I don't know. Trying to be uh, trying to be like Instagram, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, so Ladybug, where you at? She's around here somewhere. Yeah, she's around here somewhere, I think. Where's my bug? Where's my bug? Chat, I think she has gotten into something she doesn't need to because she's actually got to stay away from food. So uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to be right back for just a moment. I'll go find her and uh, we'll go from there. Just trying to see if my favorite was streamer. <laughs> Wirewolf, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. Best thing you can ever do to support a streamer is, is you know, have their channel up all the time. Uh, there's a lot of free things you can do. You can lurk. You can, you know, help boost their social media. Uh, you can, you know, hand hand their link to other people that you think uh, would want to watch that, you know. There's a lot of free things that you can do to support a channel. Uh, but the biggest and best is just, you know, be there watching. Malvin! What up, BB? Chat, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go find my dog. All right, chat. All right, Thunder, come on. Get out of here, Bella. Go on now. Get your patrols done. Uh, 
Happy Zam! Hello, my friend. How have you been? I've missed you. Just been vibing. Hell yeah, Zam. Hell yeah. Hey, I got six dollars. Yeah, I got money. Five. I'm gonna get most. I'm gonna grab more bandages. Is a trick? What? Why is there a trash can here? Okay, interesting. How's everything going? It's it's been rough, but it's getting a little bit better. I got seven already. Alone. I don't know if I want to go to this one or not. Oh no, I can't make that one because the first is. Yeah, the first is Wednesday, so I can't make that one. But all in all, it's good, my friend. It's good. It's good to see you again. It was on the highly most wanted list. Let's see Mills, Kettleman, Bill. I have a feeling we're not going to see that one. I'm trying to keep count of our family members. Fernando Rojas, Bill Slade, Gideon, Victory Street, Victory. Jesus Christ, a lot of Victory Street. Matt Durst, bit of Denning Gang. Okay. I appreciate that, Zam. We're getting there. It's getting a little bit better. Every day is getting a little bit better. Rockman. Interesting. Who's the Golden Hounds? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Bastards and Kettleman shoot. What the fuck? Wait. Found bastard armadillo treating wounds after they had a shootout with cult leader Jack Kettleman. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, Cody likely did this one right. Happen here to be medic or law. Master oh. Jack Kettleman. Okay, interesting. Injured people. Medical office. Domino Faith. Everett Byrne. Ev, Faith, Burn, Domino, Kettleman, Mills, Alice, Pax, and Waggy Roll, Dominguez. So is Waggy riding with Kettleman again? That's an interesting bit. Unsure why Roll settled with Kettleman. Hmm.
Interesting. Interesting, Jake Chat. Interesting. What if the detective was dug up and stolen? Burial place for Rose, possibly using her. What the fuck? The fuck is this shit? Green Mountain, I see you taking it out of the same place. The ritual is not buzz. Don't think you find your surprise yet? Uh oh. Andale, andale. Sassy darling, I'm gonna turn this off in. My name shot around Flat Iron Lake. Warden Booker found shot. Who the fuck shot Booker? On the Burdown Cabin on the Devon Creek. God damn it. Woods Gang Raw Bluestone. Okay, that's a new one. Yes, this is the one I was helping hunt afterwards. The Shilohs invite Silverblood for dinner. We were hunting the, the cannibals. Interesting group. August Grey taken. Read that one yesterday. Hmm. chat we are gonna head off to strawberry more of a hit don't want to be mad at out of existence I have to ask her and eh, we'll figure it out it's the beauty of roleplay there werewolf we'll figure that out as we go you know also I'm curious why the chill guitar station gives me more of an uh more of a lo-fi vibe today This one for now. I also don't like that the uh, Pretzel Rocks app is not connecting to Twitch at the moment. 
I know Rab has been working on it, but damn. It doesn't work with my stream deck anymore at the moment. <laughs> but yes, so for anybody curious on what Sparkles was talking about earlier. North Mansburg with a bend. It's east of the tracks. Hutch's daughter is getting married. Let's get rolling, folks. We're going to head out to Strawberry. I won't lie. It feels really good to be back on stream here in the crossing again, too. Taking nearly a month off has actually done, uh, done a lot of wonders. Why chat the playlist just seemed to be focusing on lo-fi with uh, pretzel today. I don't know what's going on Also, chat, has anybody noticed that something different about Hutch as of uh, this stream compared to last time y'all remember seeing him running around? That's the one. He does have a di uh, different bit of hair. All right, we have a red of the source just running around. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. Anybody around? In his time in the Appalachians, which is where he went, technically, um, he did finally get a haircut. He 
We got tired of it being long. Uh, it also... Well, I won't tell you guys, because there's elements of him that are going to change from what he was before my break that will be different post-break. There's things that he's realized about himself, and there's things that I've realized about me. excited for y'all to get to realize some of the mannerisms that'll be a bit different about them. realized I wonder with Malone's passing if we're gonna see Ruth come back to the squad uh, to the department uh, and Brooks as well because I know they've been gone for a bit hmm that'll be an interesting one appear out of thin air yeah yeah maybe we'll see i know maple was back yesterday too so we're starting to see a lot of folks come back to wild which is actually really cool Alright, let's see. Keith is in Blackwater.
Oh my god. <laughs> so fish decayed. I'm I'm gonna Oh my god, Sam. Alright. Paisley, hello! How are you? I'm good. Alright, chat. Let's look at the ABC case. Good, hell yeah. Clean shame and put together. Hmm. Interesting bit. Laundry trans coat, dusty brown jeans with spur marks. Birds that have been taken on location predetermined corresponding letter. Okay. chat if the abc index that we have has 10 unique prints we have a new one do we have a second person getting involved now my name is nina briggs told me personally she found in the bottom of the t he stakes or is changing his mo interesting theory there keith Idea. Hmm. Good, interesting theories. Dare target J.P. Williams. What's on Apprentice or Lover? Or both. So, the fast uh, the the theory with ABC right now um, is that he's taken account to. A, um, a fascination to Mary Dalloway, one of our seniors who's currently on duty. Uh, we've got a running theory that the M victim is going to end up being her, at least the attempt, uh, because of that fascination. His mother's name was Mary, uh, and he's got a fascination with the ABC because of that. Um, or copycat, it could be a copycat. But a lot of these details for that are not released to the public. So the problem with a copycat, if we're looking at the instance of the K-Killer, uh, then... It's likely we could be looking at a secondary accomplice or our information is not completely correct as well. Because right now our fingerprint index is working off of stuff that we have found and had to scour that Redding did really, really good work on. 
um, you know, to try to determine 10 really good prints for everything. So, like, if we look at these... Yeah, Rip Redding, man. From what I can tell, Arn got one hell of a scene out of it, though. That's fucking for sure. Um, so my only concern with things... This looks like it could be a duplicate print. Maybe. No. It's close, but it's not a duplicate print. Okay. Um... So I can't help but wonder, like, are all 10 of these actually ABC's prints? Or is there something else going on, you know? All right, so back to... Back to this. So it's possible we could have a secondary. I will say that. But when it comes to this, the eye victim. Oh, excuse me. The eye victim was found right in here, which could have been better placed here. But, you know, semantics at this point. Um, could it be sloppy work? Maybe. Maybe but hard to determine. Timeline of event. Oh, somebody's done really good with this timeline events. I'll give them that. Um, oldest to newest, okay. All right, so Stone is glad to see what I found. Um, geez, that was a month ago. I didn't even see that note. All right, well, good shit, Stone. Um, cool beans. So we know generally what we're looking for. We know who we're looking for. It's just a matter of finding them. Legal activity is taking place north by NWA. I am too far away from that to even... Let's see, we've got Blackwater... Howdy. Howdy. And Gosh. legal activity north bayou. Oh, north bayou. Well. Hmm. 
I was hoping to keep my eyes here on Strawberry for a little while and see if maybe we get lucky that ABC wants to work for a second day. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm heading to Rhodes, so I'm, I'm not going to respond to that, but I'll keep an eye out for Wiggins. Oh, yeah. I'm, i i got to go to bed here a little while, but uh be around later. All right. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you too. How you been? I'm doing okay. I needed the time in the Appalachians out dearly. Hope you found what you're looking for. It's not so much as finding what I was looking for is so much realizing that there were bits of me that I needed to uh, to adjust and change. It's going down a path I didn't need to go. So a little time in seclusion in the, the cabin and uh, in the woods does that. I'm glad you found yourself and found your way back to us. Mm. I'd always find my way back to this department. It's what gave me something to live for. You got plenty to live for? <laughs> but I'm... Uh, uh, it's Anyway, it was good work with you yesterday, and uh, good luck with... Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I hope he doesn't turn his head up, but... Yeah, but, uh, I hope he doesn't either, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna also hope we catch him. Around safe. Town. All right. Well, you be safe. Yeah, you too. Hey, you got any ideas for a costume? I gotta come up with a costume for tonight, and I'm gonna go to Rhodes and figure that out. But I have no idea, and everyone's got such amazing ideas. I really don't know an idea for a costume. I still gotta get the deputy shipment. What me and her are gonna do? Oh, you and shipment. Did I know that was a thing? Is that a thing? It's been a thing for a while, considering we're due to get married. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I love Shipman. She's great. Mm. Good for you. Yeah, as to when we're getting married, well, that was supposed to be about a month ago, but uh, we pushed it back so I could take a take a leave. Ashen! No, you can't rush these things. I'm sure it'll be the right time when it's the right time. Yeah, the right time might be sooner rather than later, the right things are going. Well, I hope for your sake that's true. Mm. All right. We'll talk to you later. Yeah, you take care. Ashen, I want you to know that I have never in roleplay ever ever ugly cried before until yesterday. I want you to know that. But I hope you're doing well. Oh, buddy. I know. And I'm ready for it tonight. It's going to be nuts. But Hutch broke down in front of Reuben. Being emotionally damaged indefinitely. Yeah, that struggle is real. Not ready. No one's ever ready for today. I just, I, I put in a tip that you're here. Yeah, I'm gonna update everybody my plans. <laughs> like right now, oh, I'm sorry. But you know you've done a character so well when that kind of impact is felt far and wide among a ton of people. So humbling it really is. It is. Um, So I'm debating where I want to post up and watch. Actually, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. We're going to go for a walk. Yeah, like, Hutch is chewing himself up a little bit because he really was hoping Audrey would be at his wedding. But Hutch and Reuben had a very long chat yesterday following a nice little hunting party. Uh, 
Hutch broke down. Open for them to attend to. Yeah. I'm still going to get Ruben involved one way or the other. I've just got to find the, the when and where. Because we were actually supposed to have Hutch and, <laughs> Hutch and Wallace marry like two weeks ago. But that didn't happen. As you should, yeah. Well, Ruben is Hutch's best friend. Like, period. Hey, yeah. But it's good. I got, uh, I got some good time away. Played some other games. Got to relax. Got to rest myself. It's been very good. Ever, absolutely. Sometimes you need the break. And sometimes you just gotta rip the band-aid and say, look, I'm stepping away from it all for a little while. I need to, to refocus. Alright, so the goal here, guys, we're going to sit on the cliffs and we're going to try to be inconspicuous to the folks in town, but see if we can't get a good viewpoint of, like, everything to see if we can't get a view on Noah, a.k.a. our ABC killer. Oh, you know what would be interesting is if all of a sudden, like, I run into him out here. This actually looks like a really good spot. Like, this music would be perfect to just, you know, run into him and be like, Yeah, hey, Mark, who are you? Noah, wait. Huh? Right, folks, we're using the prone tactic again, and we ain't done this since Coulter. <laughs> All right, so Ashen, I have the important all-knowing burning question for you real quick if you're still here is there plans to roll a new deputy in the near future or are you taking a break from the law life because I know you were on uh, Dovey last night you don't have to give me details because I don't want that meta but I'm just curious if there's Ashen involved in law in the near future <coughs> <coughs> as I choke on my drink oh <coughs> I think we're going to move around.
actually trying to get him, but you gotta try, right? You do. I know generally who I'm looking for. I mean, I could be a weirdo and get in the damn rain trough, but, you know, don't think I want to do that one. is doing what just chilling up here overlooking strawberry watching for the abc killer trying to fulfill his oath and protecting the people you call this the rip strat no shot <laughs> all right well i guess i'm sharing a brain with cronus tell who's on that third horse down there but looks up in an RP server? Nope. No, they don't. And that is why, if you want to play a character that is following slash stalking slash observing, stay up high. I would say I'd get on a building, but then people would be like, oh, somebody's on a building with Telegram Wall. I don't want to do that, you know? At least up here, it's subtle. If you're coming in from that way, you can't really see. If you're sitting right there, eh, you might get a little glimpse of Hutch. If you're over that way, yeah, you'll see him. But it's only if you're looking. And of course, if you're back here, you'll notice, but... Still is a pretty good spot.
But yeah, nobody ever really looks up. Like, the deputies try to, you know, look up. Um, and I don't, like, if you guys ever notice Hutch when he's on patrol, he's always telling folks, eyes up. He does that because up is where folks ambush from. Up is where, you know, funnels happen. Up high is where the high ground holding death is. Exactly. That's exactly it, Wire. <laughs> like, why do you think, you know, Obi-Wan was like, it's over, Anakin. Can I have the high ground? Make it even worse. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's like the bolt actions in combat, they're cool and all. And I like the fact that they're more of a ranged weapon and they're showing out, but yikes. That's why, as Hutch, I'll usually never, ever run a bolt in combat. Like, if we're up against another group, I will likely stick to a Lancaster or Litchfield. Just because, like, I know I'm decent with a bolt action, but it's only five shots. There's a big limit to it. And it's just not Hutch's style, you know? God, the scarring on his face looks so much better now that I've had his haircut. raise the price true true i mean they're already six hundred dollars out of the gate to get a bolt unless you know the player market and you get lucky to get a used one or get it at auction but um i think the price for it is fair i think people are just realizing that it's not that the weapon itself is op you can counter bolt actions easy um you know, bolt actions excel in range, and really you just got to get close and not give them a chance to line up those shots. Like, if you can do that and stay moving in combat, you're fine. That's where your repeaters come in. You know, you get a little bit closer with those where those excel and just pa 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 pa. You know, keep that pressure up and that's there. But that's the trick. You got to keep the pressure. Um, so that's usually where it, it's like, you know, if we were talking Law versus Pruitt's, you know... <laughs> Even in a most wanted scenario where we're taking 10 in a group, uh, which is interesting in and of itself, you know, you need a couple on each member of the Pruitts taking turns getting pressure on them. And that way they're having to, you know, 
they can't stay there and get to line up those shots because as soon as bolt actions get a chance to line up, it's just like a sniper. It's over. But you, you fluster him out of that, and that's it. It's all she wrote. But even the, and, and the fun fact wire, it doesn't matter what the cost of a weapon is. Like, if people know that it's good in PvP, there will be money to get for it. Deputies to fear it, it'll get better. Absolutely. Fear the bolt action, man. You gotta fear the bolt. If you don't have a fear of a bolt action in a fight, or f really fear of any weapon, you're you're gonna be too overconfident going into it. Like, that's the trick, is you have to respect anybody worth their salt going into any kind of fight like that. If you don't, it's GG's. And one thing I will say, like Hutch's mindset, he's learned to appreciate life even more with his time away. He's not just fighting to protect people. He's going to be fighting to keep life. He's going to be fighting to keep everything whole. Um, he's going to, yeah, there's going to be a lot of that because he's, he's realized what it is he wants. But with that realization comes that fear of the weaponry, the fear of, all right, this is going to happen. Appreciate the view you have now. Yeah. Well, Hutch has always been one to fight to protect people, but now he is fighting for the sanctity of life. Yo, Potato, what up, dude? I'm not Potato, Doc. Fuck! What up, dude? I'm not used to this new chat box. 
potato. You're not a potato dog. You're an awesome human being. Love your face. Hope you're well. Hmm. Siege says otherwise. Well, Siege can kiss my ass. Baptized him this morning. Get good. Why the f you're not gonna get VIP doc? I'm not gonna honor it. I'm gonna refund it. What do you mean? Chad, another good spot would be right on that cliff ledge there, prone into one of the bushes and just stay there for a while to overlook Strawberry. You get eyes kind of pretty much out through there, all the way down here up the lane. Oh, that was weird. Bah! You know what? We're going to do a walk through Strawberry. I'm going to buy a couple pieces of meat and cook them up. All right, chat, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, so I will be back here in just a moment. It's a good chance to get some water and some stretches, y'all.
Alright guys, I'm back. Ooh. Also made myself a couple microwavable burritos because I didn't I just realized I haven't had lunch. So need to have a little footage. Let's see, oath to roads, chop out of roads. Some black water. He's gonna stop here. Strawberry. I am going to probably wait and catch him and then join up with him. Or see if he's already swung through or not. Actually, no, that's not a good telegram to send. That's an in-person thing. We'll do a swing through a strawberry. Let's just do it. Let's find Mitch and get married. I don't want to wait anymore. Yeah, Hutch knew about that. Out of the mist for you. Hutch is fucking cute. I know, guys. I know. And she'll be around later today. Because um, Squeaks is going to have Penny there for the funeral. Hutch also realizes it's not the best time to ask that question. But it's because of what's going on that is making him really want to go ahead and push it. Ooh, don't kick me. With red hair and strawberry. Stop, ABC. I've got you. Oh, hearty har har, Keith. You're under arrest. You can't arrest me if I'm on the back of your horse. Ah, hick. How you doing, well, bud? Yeah, I'm alright yourself. I'm all right. I've been here looking for ABC myself. Mm. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's been a strawberry. I've been those three chatting for the last half hour. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. And then we got a ranger running around, but that's about it. Yeah, sounds about right. How's things for you today? Yeah, fine. I um I telegrammed Dalloway uh, earlier just to try and smooth things over personally before uh, talking to someone else about her behaviour. But um, she was in uh, Blackwater office and yeah, said hello. Nothing, no telegram. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to be as understanding as possible because obviously um, Sheriff Malone passed away and I'm, I'm guessing that he was quite an influence on her so I'm trying not to be too much of a prick about it um, 
but you know there comes a point where you got to be professional but i'm not yeah. saying she's unprofessional by by no means i've got the utmost respect for her but it's just yeah it's, it's just tricky yeah i know what you mean and sometimes those conversations aren't necessarily you throwing her under the bus for you know getting her in trouble sake it's no no not you at care all. about her profession and you want to see her do well and mm. when there's you know when there's things like that that come up sometimes having those conversations with higher ups is good i've had to have that a couple of times yeah. on folks uh, where you know it's not that i don't dislike you know it's not that i dislike the person or anything i care for him deeply and i've served with them but you know sometimes sometimes we're not able to be the ones to be in check sometimes it's got to be someone that's up there that you know, like an under sheriff or a sheriff that can come over and say hey other people are talking about this let's 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 figure out what's going on mm -hmm. yeah definitely so i would uh i'd recommend getting in contact with cameron he's around today and he's usually good with those kind of conversations yeah right all right leave as luck would have it he's in Innsburg. yes i did say that yeah, yeah. i'm uh slowly working my way just through uh, valentine and emerald to Rhodes, and then i might uh push on from there i'll tell you what i'll tag along sure, sure. just doing the rounds really nothing yep. too exciting that's bad that's Good days like this that we get to enjoy the most. <laughs> yeah. Reminds us that the days of the chaos is uh, leading up to these moments. Yeah, yeah. Howdy. Howdy. I was reading through the ABC case again this morning, and uh, mm. I noticed the bit on the eye victim. How you guys thought yep. that it was a change in MO or getting sloppy? <laughs> yeah, change my mind about that now. Correct me if I'm wrong. We found, also found a fingerprint in that that uh, was completely different than the ten that we have on file. Correct? He's not on file. Well, we have that fingerprint index that Redding managed to put together before he he passed. We have 10 Bye. unique prints from fa uh, from various scenes related to ABC. Oh, okay. I didn't know about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a whole file for it. It's, uh, it's in the dossier. Right. Okay. Which way do you want to go? This is your patrol. Ah, uh, lit. Oh, yeah. Redding, uh, Redding put it together, and I made sure it was there. It's, uh, it's just called the fingerprint index is what it is. <laughs> But we have 10 unique oh. prints that uh, that are in there that we're pretty certain are uh, are the 10 fingerprints for Noah Adair. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Forrester's already gone through them before I took my break. It's not come back to anybody we've got a file on currently. At least if my memory serves me right, that was the case. Right. Okay. Hmm. But I'm curious that uh, that fingerprint that was found. I thought I read something that it didn't match the ten we had on file, and I've got a suspicion that either we're working with somebody sloppy, or somehow another fingerprint got in. Potentially even a mm. second person involved. That scares me, to be honest. Yeah, that's uh, not ideal. No. A serial killer like that having a, a protege almost? It would fall in line with everything. His mother was a teacher, so why not him teach uh, his ways to someone else? Mm, right. Or training up somebody to be a successor uh, when he does get a hold of Dalloway. Or if he does. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Hold up. Oh, 
so I realized I forgot to put my name on uh, your patrol, so we'll send an update from Valentine that I've tagged along. <laughs> yes, we love everybody. All right. Outside ABC and everything, how's things in the department been lately? I feel like everyone's sort of come back together after uh, after the losses. Hmm. Um. Admittedly, I took some uh, I took some time off there. Question the badge. Not not it's um not the badge itself, but just me with the badge. Um. <laughs> I um. When Audrey and Redding were taken, there were three people on duty. Redding, Audrey. And myself. Um, when they were taken, I was alone, with no one else to turn to. So I, um, I'm still dealing with it. Um, I'm by no means making their death about me, but it's yeah, but there's a lot to. Um, There's a lot to sort of just make peace with, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, there a lot is. Of those, a lot of those what-ifs and what could I have done differently or what could have, you know, all this sort of stuff. Yeah. I get that. Yeah, it's not easy to process, it's not easy to go through, but you got to go through it. Yeah. It doesn't make you any less of a deputy. You're a damn fine one at that. starting to think I'm a little bit cursed. You're not. It's just bad luck and timing is all that it is. Mm, yeah. I was also on the shift with Malone when he... <laughs> uh, when he passed out of shot. You ever hear about Deputy Frank Castle? Mm, no. Don't think you would. It's been about a year ago since him now. Christmas time, everyone was off seeing their families and going around for the holidays. I, I had nowhere to go, so I stayed here, stayed on duty, so that way folks could you know, rest easy knowing the crossing was taken care of and you know, they can go spend time with their loved ones. Sure. I was on duty. Sorry, I was going out of habit. on duty with Frank and Frank actually had a cadet with him. There was a holiday train that was running at the time too. So I decided I was going to rush over to Valentine and meet him here. Mm -hmm. No sooner do I get right up the road in the corner of that barn than I'm met by the bastards. Mm -hmm. Jay Bass himself and his crew. They say the train had been robbed but the deputy was hurt. So I immediately rush over. Castle's laying there on one of the flat cars. Skull cracked wide open by a rifle. It was Josephine Adders that did the swing. The entire group there supported it. For the longest time, I questioned with myself, you know, what if I was five minutes quicker? What if I was, what if I was already here? What, you know, all the what ifs. At the end of the day, I came down to one conclusion that what was gonna happen was gonna happen that day. It doesn't make me any less able of a deputy or any less important to this department, and it doesn't diminish, you know, diminish Frank's death. But he didn't make it through. He passed away right there in front of my own eyes. Not that you cursed, Keith. It's just a bad stroke of luck that day. For a bad group of people that we no longer have to worry about. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. 
try to remind myself that. Yeah, it sucks. There's there's no there's no beating around that bush. It's gonna but. suck for a while. You're gonna have a lot of questions. You're gonna have the what ifs. Just know that whatever the what ifs come to, it doesn't make you any less of a of a person. It doesn't make you any less of a deputy. That said, let me get this check-in done so that way we can move forward. Mm -hmm. Yep. I ain't got to deal with the damn schmud. <laughs> and I heard all the all the stories, and I was like, oh, no. You know, I, I'm one of those, um, I like to see things for myself before I make my own judgment. Not, <laughs> not a hard and fast rule, but, you know, keep, keep everything good for death first hand. But, um, hmm. Yeah, some, there's a reason that stories exist. Mm, mm -hmm. That's a, uh, mm, yeah. Hey, Valentine's full of them. Oh. oh, yes it is. Trust me, if you think you're cursed because of a couple deputies passing on your shifts, Valentine is a hundred times more cursed for various reasons. <laughs> Don't believe that. Uh. You know, I witnessed my first execution in Valentine. by the name of Austin Grant. Oh, okay. I don't know exactly what he did. I was a cadet at the time. I remember that I was uh, riding along with the hunting party. We went straight through here and then up to Emerald and all of a sudden I get told, go back to Valentine, get out of here and go. Apparently one of our sheriffs at the time had been kidnapped, taken by Grant. And they got eyes on him so they were going to chase. It was gonna be a fight. came back I didn't know what was going on and I see Rip Riley come out of the medical office and he says upgrade the charges to first degree Sheriff Breyer passed away oh shit uh, well not long after that Sheriff Winward comes out of the office announces to every single deputy to form up around Grant that we're gonna have an execution that day go, we bring the populace of Valentine over to the gallows, and Sheriff Rabbit gives some kind of speech, and next thing you know, six shots ring out from a navy, and he falls to the ground dead as a doornail. I believe that some people are better off not of this world. <laughs> I'm not against both. I'm not against the sentencing. But uh I'm not sure I've met the circumstances that would make me want to attend one. Mm. Yeah, I I don't know the full list of his charges or incidents. I just know I heard the words torture, attempted murder, kidnapping various times. Involving sure, deputies sure. and rangers alike. Wicked son of a bitch. Mm. There was 
another son of a bitch after that. Now let's just say he took away my first real mentor, Bella trying to make me a detective. He did a bunch of other stuff, including kidnapping Audrey, left her in the desert for a week. Shit. Yeah. Oh, that makes p shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no. The uh, Audrey and I did a patrol together on her, on her last day, and um, we were talking about favourite places. And I um, I was like, oh, the West's got really nice sunsets, and she sort of reacted a little bit. I wasn't going to press her for it, but I guess that uh, okay. That <laughs> all right? That makes yeah. sense. Good. Yeah. Uh, Wanna go through Emerald. Yeah, yeah. See who's uh, poaching sheep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that son of a bitch got executed as well. Yeah, right. I had the privilege of standing on the firing line, getting retribution for what happened to Camden. Oh. Mm. Have you read the paperwork? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry, mate. That's that's rough. You better to hope to God mildly. I don't find the son of a bitch that decided to rob his goddamn grave. Mm. Oh, it's gonna have a sticky beak. <sighs> I forgot you said sticky beak. You're the second one that says that that I know. Oh, really? Really? Ah, the first one's my fiance. <laughs> She might talk southern, but if I didn't know any better, she was Australian. but let's double check. And one riding off. Yep. Right? Saints Cross the Sheriff's Department. Hello. Howdy, Saints Cross the Sheriff's Department. How we doing? Everything all right out here? Okay, was that you that just uh, shot a mm -hmm. rifle off? Yes. Okay. Uh, we thought that was you hunting, just wanted to make sure. That's okay. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? Eileen. Come again? Eileen. Eileen? Eileen, yes. All right. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Deputy Hutchinson. This here is Deputy Oath. Hello. Nice, nice to meet you, Mr. Oath. And Hutchinson, we've met before, but it's been a long time. Really? Uh, refresh yes. my memory if you don't mind. I own the gun store in Saint Denis. Oh, that would have been. Uh, it's been, been a long time. Yeah, that would have been Joey. Joey? Yeah, the Joey Bang incident. Oh, yes, yes. I've forgotten about that yet. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Have you been? I've been okay. I've been okay. I'm just prospecting, trying to get my feet uh, in the territory before I bring more, more of my people over. Hmm. Well, it's good to see you back, Mr. Lee. Mm, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Sorry to um, bother you. <laughs> no worries. We just happened to be in the area doing a patrol, so we figured we'd just check in. Mm, well, see you soon. Thank you. Yeah. You I'm take care of back yeah? to holy hunting. Good luck. That's a fella I haven't seen in almost a damn year. Yeah, right. Hmm. That isn't a good thing for you? What? The fact that Bai Lee is back? Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, Mr. Bai uh, Lee, formerly of Taipan. Taipan. Oh, uh, it's, um... Yeah, he ran the uh, yeah, he ran the gun store in uh, Saint Denis for a while. 
Right, right, right. There was a fella named Joey Bang that was murdered that I was helping the investigation on for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Bring him more? Oh, I, I could tell from his talk. It's interesting. See him come back. I. It's been a long time since I've seen his name come up in anything. Well, maybe he'll make a habit of not being in paperwork. Yeah, well, when it was part of the Joey Bang murder, his name just came up as part of an interview. Oh, okay. It wasn't a suspect or anything. He was one of our witness statements. Mm, St. Okay. Denis Gang or anyone? Uh, apparently. He says he's bringing more people. That explains the bulletin about Saint Denis. Can't help but wonder if he'll make a run at the gun store and try to take over from Copperhead. Mm, yep. Well, Copperhead is still running the gun store over there, isn't he? As far as I'm aware, yeah. All right. Some things don't change, and some things change, but always feel the same. Chance Keith, you much of a fisher? No, I'm not. This is you know, the second deputy that's asked me if I fish. Benny keeps asking me if I've gone fishing. <laughs> oh, I good keep old Benny. Disappointing the poor guy. Yeah. Our reason uh, being is the pond at the the pond at the top of this creek is actually a really good fishing spot. Oh, is that right? Yep. actually there that I had the first real uh, non-work related conversation with my fiance. Ah, okay. What told me, uh, kind of what, I guess uh, when I was realized that I was actually attracted to her. Oh. It's also where I got to understand who Bobby Younger was as a man too. I miss that fella. Mm, I mean, I thought they had a split. funeral tonight? Yep. Yep. And it'll be good to bury her up in Strawberry. She'll get to be with Bobby again and be with her parents. Who, who is Bobby? Bobby Younger, also a deputy. Mm. Killed in the line of duty at uh, Fort Rathskeller in town of the Del Lobos. Right. Okay. One hell of a man. Good friend, too. find out. Copperhead's actually who Hutch bought the engagement ring for uh, Penny from. I might check my telegrams just for shits and giggles. <laughs> it's always a good thing. Good. It's good to be back. It's good to have you back. Good to have you back. What's been going on? Where have you been? What's, what's, what's the story? I... So, so many things. Oh, just, just, we've been flat out. It's mm -hmm. just, I, I'm, I'm run off my feet with, um, patrols. <laughs> of like, very casual <laughs> nature. Sounds like, sounds like someone's, um, got some... I don't know, I was going to be mean to make you go through archive files or something, but nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no, don't worry about that, I've got my own cold cases that I'm torturing myself with, so <laughs> good yeah, stuff. it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Aye, where are you off to now? 
Uh, Rhodes was our stopping point, so uh -huh. who knows from here. Well, what about you two? Oh, I'm not sure. Deputy May is in charge. Yeah, we were currently going to be just doing a patrol up to Valentine, Strawberry, Blackwater. Just kind of move about, kind of keep our brains moving. Mm. Oh, that sounds exactly like the, the mirrored route of where we just came from. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excellent. We'll, uh, we'll telegram you if you missed anything. All right, thank you. Appreciate that. All right, perfect. Y'all have a good day now, Bye. okay? You, you too. You as well. Stay safe. seen Frost on duty in a long time either. It's good to see her again. Oh, I have no idea who that is. Yeah, Deputy Maya Frost. All right. Helped with a lot of her cadethood too. All right. Very yeah, nice. And the more time you spend in the department, Keith, the more you realize how many folks you help train, you see come along, and you're familiar with them pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, Showcaller, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Yeah, Cameron actually did a lot of my training uh, coming up. Mm hmm. Hey, Chronic. Hello, buddy. <laughs> I love Wiley's uh, wit in telegrams from time to time. When I joined you guys for that hunting party yesterday, I was in Blackwater. I'd asked him if he needed another. He just simply says, get your gun, get your badge, and get up here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Like a dead buddy, right? How do you do, sir? Hmm. Oh, Roti. Hmm. Well, I guess check tip line, do that little dance, and uh. We'll make a plan from there. Sure, sure. I'm gonna let Cameron and Frost have it. Ooh. Why? What's going on? Front door was unlocked. Oh. Okay. is going to Ansberg. Wild's in Ansberg. Yep, Cameron and Meyer are headed up to uh... They're headed up to Valentine. 
Mm -hmm. Yep. I think if Dalloway's still on duty, she's still in Blackwater. Yeah, maybe. Unless she went back out west and just didn't tell anybody. Yeah, I've noticed she sort um, of has a habit of doing that. All right. I'm going to, we're just going to assume she's still in Blackwater then. Yeah, that's a problem in the department that I noticed before I left. People go places and they just don't update where they're going. So no one knows who's where. Hmm. I haven't, I personally haven't noticed it to be uh, too bad. So maybe it's gotten better. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. So that assumes that Dalloway is in Blackwater that puts a couple headed to Valentine, a couple in Ansberg. Mm-hmm. This is before anymore. Oh my god, Saint! <laughs> Get on duty. I'm kidding, by the way, I'm kidding. Hey Ben Bud, hope you're well. Bad, dirty looks from my dog because I can't feed her anything but boiled chicken for the next couple days. And she's mad I don't have a plate of food out for her yet. <coughs> if you had Ladybug back, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm glad to be back. Um, but I, I definitely needed the time away. Oh, hello. A.M. EST. Uh, nope, not, nope, nope, nope. Not signing up for that. <laughs> Squeaks, thank you for the sub love. I appreciate you. The eight months at tier one. A chew, I'm going to go back to sleep. Oh, thank you so much, Squeaks. I appreciate you. You get him a little more rest. We got three more hours till the funeral, so. But thank you. Almost home. Mwah. Sparkle's almost home. Means I get to see Nadia and role play tonight? Oh my god. Oh my god. Squeaks, thank you for the lurk. Gonna get all the good stuff, man. Chat, thank goodness she didn't see that telegram I almost wrote earlier. Whoo! That would have been a thing. Uh destined to rue a bend in the facade be the love that's true hard misled as the stole at stake turn back to the safe shores lest you grieve the rose that had no chance to breathe oh shit until after funeral and have to sleep I know but it'll still be good to see you dear range ooh
Hmm. AKA just another day for the Rangers? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Fill my canteens. Need anything? Uh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. All right, I'll be back. So, what put targets on the uniforms? Jeez, why do people target the Rangers, man? What did they ever do? Hello. Rangers are peaceful, man. Like the Rangers have a lot of really good roleplay stuff that comes their way with with people like that, uh, but this one seems to call out Ranger Wade specifically. Oh, eyes. Yeah, Wade had a nice little letter left for him. Jeez, we got $100 already. All right, shit. Size and tortured ranger, yeah. Squeaks his patent shields, little nog in the tortured ranger club. Yeah, tortured people club because Hutch has been tortured, and Hutch may very well be tortured in the near future. Oh, boys. So, this letter that you found. Uh, which one? I find a lot of shit. The one this morning. The Dear Rangers? Oh, I didn't find that. I just updated. It was a wanted, and there's no one actually listed as wanted. So, I just changed the file. Oh, Wait. this was Wolf that found it. Okay. Yes. I edited something. Oh, I um, transcribed the actual bloody note into the file. 
Yeah, I was uh, reading through that transcription because yeah. it's calling out Dear Ranger Wade. So somebody's got a thing for uh, Ranger L.S. Wade. Di directly, yeah, exactly. It's not Ranger related. It's that person related. It sounds like mm -hmm. a someone's got a bit of an obsessive crush or something. <clears throat> yeah. Reminds me of mm. Precious Cargo for a little while before she got executed. Mm. There was a point that the Ten Ton Gang had uh, dressed up as military men and acted like they were all from former military units. Huh. Such as the 69th Splatoon or some shit like that. Right, right. Anyway, we uh, we investigate. They've got a blockade going on out, outside of Rose, you know, and doing a checkpoint. And uh, we bring in a shady bell. We'll get them to turn themselves in peacefully without, a, uh, without incident. The mm. condition for it was they had to march in formation from Shady Bell to Rhodes and they had to give us uh, um, the, the chants. I can't think of what they're called. But anyway, Precious didn't want to walk so she got on my horse and several of her uh, telegrams to law afterwards were very much pointed towards me and being flirtatious towards me. It was interesting. Mm, okay. <laughs> Thankfully, that died off very quickly, but. Yeah. I'd, I'd be interested to um, talk to Alice and see if um, he's rescued anyone. Like, who has he rescued in the last week kind of thing. Mm. And um, maybe it's... There. Well, you know, I mean, it could be someone from his past. We don't know. that can't let go. I don't know. It's actually uh, what I was thinking, past love or something in the past, so. Mm -hmm. So I've actually put that as a, uh, as a thing. Yep. Or again, someone he rescued who maybe they got a little bit too, uh, you know, you're my hero and think that that's feelings of love. Yeah. Actually, uh, up there, I've updated the case and I've actually left a uh, note for seniors to take a look. Mm. Just since that's targeting a ranger in specific, it might be worth the uh, the seniors knowing and getting liaisons involved. Sure, sure. I um put my hand up to be a ranger liaison, so I'll see what uh, see what Wild says, I guess. Mm. Frost and Cameron are in Strawberry. Still got a couple up in uh, Ansberg. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking we might want to go out and keep eyes somewhere on a patrol. What are you thinking? Sure. Sure. Could always go up the snow. Anything interesting been happening in the snow lately? <laughs> 
not to my knowledge, but I generally, generally find stuff at the, um, out and about. Western Cumberland Forest heading uh, northwest. Isn't that to the that's the, the snow, right? God damn it, Keith! I hate when you're right. <laughs> Not really. I'm kidding. Uh, um, Western Cumberland it's... Forest. That's gonna be that shack right north of Valentine, and they're yeah. heading northwest. Yep. They're heading up to Mount Hagen, uh, Mount Hagen, Mount Shan area. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit far for us to reach here. Hmm, a little bit. Okay, what? Why don't we? Uh, why don't we go swing our way to Valentine? See if we get lucky up there. Yo, sure, sure. Why would you ever go to Valentine Dabs? What's up, buddy? Uh, because shiners. So maybe they double back to Valentine for something. Hope you're well, man. Good to see you again. I think we'll just uh, mosey our way through Emerald, too. Yeah, sure. Poor motion hell tonight. God almighty, tonight's gonna suck. Hutch just found out yesterday. Hello again. I've never ugly cried in RP before, Dabs. I did last night in front of Wiley. It was off stream, off camera. Non recorded. This would happen to cause the ugly cries because of power loss of Vorpal. This happened last night, not earlier. Um. I was on duty for a little while with Wiley, and uh, Hutch and Wiley got to catch up because they're best friends. Hutch found out that we lost Redding, Audrey, and Malone, and Hutch actually broke. That's it, yeah. out of people because Valentine is where Hutch finds himself getting forged a lot more. Um. Right, let's pick up to a canter and get moving. Yep, yep. We'll swing through this ranch over here on the right and just poke our nose there, make sure nothing crazy's happening. Mm, sure. Going right. Dodge pass, force lost a friend in Reading. Sister, oh, I heard. Oh, I heard. It's 
such a nice little just cozy ranch. Kind of wish more people would work here. Mm. Yeah, it does feel nice. Yeah, it's not big and open like McFarland's, but it still is pretty quaint. A lot of good cows. Mm. Yeah. Now, when I went up to the mountains for my uh, my absence, stayed a few miles away from a nice little ranch. Went down from time to time when I wanted company would help the farmer and his wife there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't but a handful of times, but just those moments that I really needed somebody, uh, you know, around for company. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Try to be the shit that happens to him. True. This is our therapy. What do you mean, Ash? <laughs> I thought about one day, the day I make it to retirement, buying a ranch of my own and just kind of settling down, have a few head of cattle, a few crops. Yeah, why not? It'll be the easy life one of these days. Is it bad that if I go up this uh, path, I can hear MJ and Ed both screaming at me simultaneously? I was just thinking, don't let MJ see you going on the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Ed's, Ed's already ripped me a new one, and MJ's threatened it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Speaking of which, did MJ ever make deputy? Shit, she's, she's doing really well. Ah, good. Good to hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Push it off just like what happens in real life. True. So what I'm hearing is Hutch, Forrester, and Penny retire. Buy a ranch together. Forrester, Le, Penny, and Hutch. Let's run that and move cattle. Exactly. Can't forget Wiley though. We gotta have Wiley in the mix because that's. Yeah. Uh, Teddy's thinking of picking the badge back up. What? Mm. The fuck happened to make Teddy want to pick the badge back up? Uh. Well, he's married now. Uh, yeah, I, I figured he was gonna marry a Hannah sooner or later. Married to Hannah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he, um, there was a bit of drama with the whole, uh, Flyspeck crap. That was, uh, that was the instant that, uh, Malone passed away. Maybe, uh, maybe that's got something to do with it. Hmm. to have Teddy back as a uh, as a deputy, that's for damn sure. Mm, yeah, he seems like a good sort. Mm. He's a damn good deputy. I was sad when he put his badger down. Asshole, don't you dare do it. <laughs> Alright, on we go. We'll go off road. Sure. Want to pet a cow? do bank training like teach bank training the other day in front of a marshal <laughs> how'd that go he's like right oh you're teaching bank training I was like, 
Jesus kids. What? <laughs> Wait, which uh, marshal was that you had to teach in front of? Uh, 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 Bennett, I think. Oh, the new one. Uh, all right, yeah, he's the one that I met for all of about ten seconds and then got whisked away. Well, you're you gonna you're gonna help out. You're gonna be a you know be a be, be a hostage. Like, no, no, I'm just gonna watch. <laughs> Very helpful. Thank you, sir. <coughs> <coughs> ah. It's good in a sense, though, because I feel like I like teaching people. So there you go. Well, I don't mind teaching people as well, but. Teaching's not my strong suit. Yeah, yeah, my strong suit is uh, being a boot on the ground out in the field. There's better teachers than me, anyway. I don't think we're all good at strengths and weaknesses, man. Mm, yeah, we do. So what makes this department beautiful, Keith, is uh, everyone's got a lot of uniqueness to us. We're not all cookie cutters. I specialize in med RP. Oh my god, Jaeger. I specialize in being shot the fuck up, alright? <laughs> Rider. crossings over here today yeah I think I've seen it this busy not for a very long time then again I'm not in the habit of coming to Valentine so <laughs> <laughs> yeah well it only makes sense you know we got a few pushing further west we got a handful in Ansburg that keep oh, yeah. an eye on the east mm -hmm. I mean, it was either this or we go to St. Denis and uh, no offense you don't strike me as a guy for the city <laughs> Grab some stews. Do you want anything? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. All right. Chat, T-minus two and a half hours till we all lose our shit. Who's ready?
can't handle funeral RP. That is fair. I always appreciate a reverse robbery. Yeah. I'm gonna take a, yeah, gonna take a very quick nap. And then sure. Get back to sure. Bear with me. Yeah. Man. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Everything okay? Just a, oh, just had to force some money into his pockets. He was the yeah. <laughs> the uh, the gentle the gentle way is not working today. Oh, that's one workaround, but I don't know what everyone else is going to be doing. Couldn't take money out of the bank the other day. Hmm. Uh, all right. What's uh? Anything happened? Nothing happened. No. Uh, back with Cameron Frost and Dalloway all responded to that uh activity tip in the forest. Sure, sure. So I figure we just hang out here as a uh, as a little bit of a backup to it and see what mm -hmm. happens. Sure. It's a pretty good centralized area for the moment. A lot of folks seem to be here, so us having eyes on mm -hmm. Valentine will be good. Yep, yep, yep. Had no update from that group yet either, but Wait, is that a priest up there? I mean, that would make sense being a church. Okay. Not exactly a religious man, but there's something comforting about seeing a uh, seeing a church active in a town, you know? Mm, yeah, yeah. No, I can understand that. Especially when it's Valentine. <laughs> yeah, especially when it's Valentine. I think Valentine needs some kind of faith more than any other part of the goddamn crossing. Surprised that, uh, mm. again, I'm not religious, but you know, if there is a god, I'm surprised that it hasn't struck this place down like Sodom and Gomorrah yet. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking we do a walkthrough and see what's going on. Check out the usual suspects, bathhouse, bank, alleyways. Sure, sure. If you can't tell, I can't stand staying in one place too long. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I might just check in medical real quick. Yeah, that's a good shot. Still locked, very good. Huh. Oh, anything interesting? Oh no, I don't think so. Huh? Let me. Uh, I'm gonna pick it up and put in the put in the office. Why? Wow, what's in there? Uh, when you get, when we go in there, look at the uh, file about Robert Tyne. Oh. He's uh, trying to uh, offer his medical services to the crossing, yeah, but he's a known. That. Yeah, this is this is his shit. Oh, how do you know? It's got his monogram on the bandage in the bags. <laughs> uh, right, right next to the furnace. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> I'll update the uh, paperwork. Hmm. Guess guess what we're doing. Stakeout. 
No, we're going to check every single medical office in the crossing. <laughs> Because there was a package exactly like that in the uh, Blackwater Sheriff's Office. Hmm. Okay. Well. Mmm. 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 <coughs> Interesting find, for sure. Yeah. Like, I, I feel bad because, you know, some people could really use some free shit, but we don't know if he's laced it with bloody... God knows what. Yeah, no kidding. Can't take a chance. Or, you know, yeah, tampered with the medical bag or, yeah, I don't know. I could just, um, put a tip in to say everybody check the medical offices of the town you're in. Yeah, we could do that. Um, mm -hmm. given that, uh, given that we got a group out hunting for whatever's going on. We could mm -hmm. also go make our way to Strawberry, because that's the only one really this far outside of going to the far west. Sure. Um, yeah, sure. So it'd give us a reason to go patrolling. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think our party's back. Oh, there you go. Alright. Sir, go ahead and follow me in here. Oop, pardon. Hello. Oh! I see uh, y'all caught something. Yeah. Yeah, uh, accident in China. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I hate it when nah, I see it fall into like a skill. Yeah. How is it? That's yeah. all right. Cool. Cameron, we have made an interesting discovery here in Valentine. Oh, What's up? So, did you read I'm the report on uh, and, uh, Mr. Tyne trying to offer his medical safety. services to the crossing? Yes, yes. Well, that package over that there at the right. furnace is laced with a bunch oh, of his stuff. The paperwork for this fella. Really? Okay, good discovery. Uh-huh. Well, P uh, Keith also found one in Blackwater. So, we're right. going to go check every single medical Please. office around the crossing and see if Please. he's left Please, Please, thank you. Um, yep. You all take care. Hi, right, you too. <laughs> you... <laughs> You oh, Sheriff? Yeah. I, I have this is also me busting your chops. You guys left the front door unlocked in the road you sheriff's office. Vodka. You should try That's my office. I can leave it unlocked if I want. Yeah, well, I left it locked for really you. Just so thank you. Yeah. You know, you yes, don't need people you running through that. I bought by accident. Oh, okay. Thank you, Hutch. Okay. Uh -huh. You can have vodka. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, okay. Keith, go. God damn it, Cameron. I know, right? Where the fuck did Keith go? Uh, I'll, I'll, de I'll definitely, uh, I'll, I'll give it back to you in the future if you ever want to gift somebody. <laughs> go ahead and do that. All right. Is it bad that I think I know whose character that is up there? All right, come over close to the ear and I'll get you uncut. There you go. Where did Oath run off to? Oh, 
Sorry, Victor. Can I have your full name? Uh, Victor Volkov. V I K T O R V O L K O V. Don't you guess who would make a priest? Um, well, I mean, I also saw something in Discord, but <clears throat> I'm not going to meta that information. <clears throat> Where the fuck did Keith go? Unless he's talking to Cameron. Chat, I've lost to Sam. Did you enjoy watching me pee? <laughs> I wasn't looking for you, I was looking uh -huh. for Keith. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't even know you were back there. Put that away, head too. No, no idea. Oh, took a bit off. All right, Victor, um, I'm going to need you to step up here to the dead. I'm going to need you to put your hands up in the air and press the your fingers, and you're going to stamp them on the, the card. Yes. I did what? what? <laughs> so then what? Did you see anything while you were in Strawberry? Yes. Uh, no, nothing. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. Oh, uh, howdy, Miss Lenwood. Uh, I'm hosting a, a chick, a raffle, a little tonight for this, uh, this gun here. It's a Halloween hey, thing uh, gun. It's called Hello Sorry, Heat. I just moved here from... Uh, and I'm selling tickets I for $20. Russia, so you can buy as many tickets as you like. And I'm gonna make the draw tonight. Just move around. It's fully really customized right. and uh, yeah, it's worth over $1,300. Oh, well, well, tempting. Well, I that? appreciate it, but I uh, I actually just got back in the crossing from being uh, away for a while, friends. so I don't exactly have much money. I'm going to pass for now. I spent all my Here, let me see what I've got, because I did spend my money like on a thing that you get, but yeah, once again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, well, oh, welcome back. <laughs> Ah, thank you. It's uh, it's good to be back, but I needed the time away too. Oh, yeah, that's understandable. Mm. How can I? Uh, you cannot sell alcohol. Could I interest you in chocolate chip combat instead? Fifteen dollars for a stack of five. Oh, again, tempting, but I'm I'm gonna have to pass. I uh, I got loaded up on food by somebody else in my arrival yesterday. Oh, no problem. Okay, I'll have this many tickets. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Are you sure? Mm hmm. Oh my god, thank you so much. Um, 120. Uh, my god. <laughs> Just breathe, uh, Lily. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dalloway, how much did you just buy from her? 420s worth of tickets. Well, that's not too terribly bad. Yeah, that's not that bad. It's like, what, 80 bucks? No, 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 $420 worth of tickets. Oh, yeah. I thought you said 420s, like an $80. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> so if it's $20 dollars per ticket, uh, is that? Uh, so it's, uh... What, like 21 tickets? So, what's the um, it's what 21 how, tickets? Yes, I, uh, I understand. How much per ticket? It's 20 dollars for one ticket. Okay, so um, two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and the next 20, yeah, like you said, 21. 21 tickets. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Save my day. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, um, I might not be here till uh, tomorrow or something, but yeah. 
If you, if you win, I'll choke on you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. I need to go for this funny one. Oh Slow it down. Five days, you're stuck with me here. Yeah, Enjoy. You ready to roll, Keith? Oh. Yes. Yeah, sure. We've got the green light to go uh, check all the other offices. Yes, yeah, sure. okay. Dallow is rolling dough. Yeah, Hutch has like 1400 in the bank right now, but. Also gives me a reason to run down here and yell at Mama Christine again. Excellent. I just, I just panic bought a custom knife. What? What do you mean panic bought? It's MJ's birthday today. Wait, it's her birthday today? Yeah. Oh shit. Well, she, she still she still can't remember certain things, so she's just picked a day and she was like, yep, tomorrow's my birthday. And I was like, oh, right, oh, fantastic. Huh. So, yeah. You know, yeah, we did that with yeah. uh, with Shipman as well. She doesn't know exactly when her birthday was, so she shared it with uh, Deputy Camden. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I'll send All a tip right. what we're doing. Cool. <clears throat> so I'm thinking we'll go we'll go back east first. We'll hit Rhodes, uh, followed by Saint Denis, <laughs> followed by Ansberg, cool. and then return to uh, Strawberry, and then the west. Yeah, sounds good. And then by that time, it'll probably be for me to get off duty so I can be at the funeral. Yes, yeah, I'm. Yep. Howdy. Alright, that's in. Senior money burning a hole in her pocket, yeah. It, I mean, if, if Hutch ever made senior, that money would sit there and burn a hole in his pocket, too. Together now. There we go. Beautiful. That was, that was lovely. Everybody was almost in perfect sync. Almost. Almost. Then. Let's take the quick way to Rhodes. Sure. So, out of curiosity, in the two kits we found so far, has it just been uh, 20 bandages and two med bags each? Correct, yep. Okay. Let's keep a running document tally of how many we find in each office, just that way that's there and noted. Yep. Already done. Beautiful. Some small creature uh, did not want to stay in this world too long.
Also, it's a good thing we got out of uh, got out of Valentine. Mm hmm. What, just in general, or a particular reason? Ah, uh, well, you know, if there's a little tension between you and Dalloway, that would affect things in the air. So, I I personally feel no tension. Um, I'm somewhat indifferent if if I've reached out to her personally. Uh, oh, yeah. If she's choosing to ignore that, then that is not my problem. Mm. Fair point. So, so it doesn't really reflect well on her as a senior. Ah, true. <clears throat> but again, coming from a place of understanding, she's clearly not. Uh, uh, what's the word? Well, she's clearly grieving, so that's. <laughs> Grief does funny things to people, so. Mm. Definite struggles, though. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I'm taking none of this personally, and I've got nothing to do with me. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the best way to take it. Yeah. It's not personal until someone's coming after you specifically for something you <laughs> uh, may or may not have done. Passing on your right. No, my dog. So I wonder, if he's offering medical services and leaving stuff in med offices, does that mean that we need to find some kind of crime to charge him with on this? I think, yeah, it's, it's that weird, we know his history type thing. What he's doing right now is necessarily a crime, like it's not a crime to leave free bandages, you know, in a medical office, but... Mm. Given his history, it's, it's got that potential, um, and he's got quite a history, so no one, I don't think anyone's just good. Oh. No one wants to take that chance and just let him do what he feels. Yeah, that's fair. Mm. Maybe if it's persistent, maybe have a case of uh, long-term harassment or failure to comply or something. Mm, perhaps, yeah. Is he on the uh, Department of Health ban list? I um, I haven't checked actually. Was, uh, on my list of things to do. Mm. Going. Uh, look. <coughs> oh, how to Clem? Hey. How's I didn't I did look inside. I didn't see anything in there earlier, but okay. people were in there. So. Mm. All right. How you feeling? Mm. Like I've got just like the worst flu I've ever had. Mm. Sorry oh, to hear yeah. that. I hope you get feeling better soon. Don't push too hard, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Who else is around? Uh, I'm thinking of just getting out of road, so I think a ride might do me some good. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Cameron Beck with Dalloway and Frost mm -hmm. are all in Valentine. Yep. Sounds like a party. I believe <laughs> Wild and Briggs were up in Ansberg last I checked. Yep. And then there's us.
party. Yep. So, if you want to come tag along with us, we're not exactly doing anything too exciting, but uh, you're welcome to. Can I be honest? Absolutely. Always. Prefer no, I don't want to tag along with the Roger Thine investigation thing. That's fair. That's understandable. Sorry. I, no, I just, uh, I'm staying out of investigation, so I don't want to get shouted at again. Um, I know what my place is in this department. What? My place is not with investigations or talking to people. I am a gun, nothing more. Respectfully disagree with that. Uh, that also sounds going... like a load of horse shit. Yeah, I'm also going to respectfully disagree, Clem. You're not just a gun. <coughs> you're, you're Clementine. There's a lot exactly. of personality and spunk to you. There's a lot of personality and spunk to my gun, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with that. I've seen you in firefights before, but... Clem, you're, you're more than just a gun. You're a damn good deputy, and... While investigations may not be your strong suit, it doesn't mean you need to stay out of them. There's nothing like saying you can't come help along. You've had good ideas. You've had good shouts in the past. Yeah, Listen, I know, what, I know what my place is. I, I understand. But uh, I do want to get better on investigations, just not when I'm feeling this low, you know? Mm. <clears throat> well, when you do feel right, if you want some help, I'll be more than happy to help out how I can. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, Mills and friends kidnapped me the other day, so just be careful. They're back. I was reading that. Apparently Mills is back. Kettleman's back. Jack's back. Word for it. I saw them Hello. both last night. Oh, so Howdy, you're Mercer. speaking incredibly loudly, Hutch. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. I'm used to, uh, used to being by myself in a cabin in the woods for the last month. It's that, it's that strong door for him. Oh, it's used to Projecting. be being by my goddamn self and having nothing to do but sit there and talk loudly at four walls. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. It's good to be back. It's good to be home. It's good to be with the people I belong with. I need to go back to armadillo um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go right to armadillo uh okay um <clears throat> just be safe please clem okay yes please be safe yeah i'll uh i'll see you guys later thanks mm, take care cool. how's it going mercer it's going all right. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, I got to a not good place, and I mm. needed to take care of it, so I talked well, to the marshals and turned in my badge for a little while and took some time back in the, uh, the Appalachians. Well, normally I would offer a handshake, but how about I offer a hug for you coming back? I will gladly take a hug. Good. So howdy, Oath. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Likewise. So I... Uh... Hmm. No, you go ahead. I've just done that interaction with Deputy Clementine. I'm inclined to reach out to a sheriff. Yeah, that's that concerning. Her... I, I don't know if someone's got into her head and told her that. Or if that's how she's actually feeling, but either way, that's that's not that's that's not it. That's not good. I only heard part of the conversation, so I cannot offer advice. She's she's just talking about. She's just a gun. That's it. That's all she is. Uh, odds are someone's made her feel that way, either purposefully or not. Honestly, for a burrito, is that speculation? Meat, I prefer right? steak, but that's just speculation. Me. Right. Okay. Just so clear. Yeah. We're off. Um. Which um. 
I, I don't I, have, I don't think I've even patrolled with Clementine I don't know who which sheriff she's closest to who's best to uh Landward. yeah rabbit rabbit right okay yeah I can but do they haven't been around in at least three weeks so hmm okay well, I know we've got two sheriffs around right now but I don't know if that's gonna be the Mm. Cameron would be a good one as well. Cameron's yeah, good. Yeah. Cameron's very good with that sort of thing. Okay. And the mm. other thing we talked about too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still um I'm ruminating on that one, but um yeah. Um, all right. I might do that now while I'm thinking about it because that's that's got me really concerned. That no one, no one should feel like that in the department. No, that's, they uh, that's not fair on. It's not fair on her, it's not fair on the people around her as well. Yeah, or, I, can, I can relate how she was feeling, because that's kind of how I was feeling a little bit before I took off. Yeah, of course. Thorn hasn't right, been around I'm in gonna forever. Go Cameron's mm -hmm. number and then, yep, all right, I'll be back in the gym. Yeah. All right. Now on that note, we are actually just passing through. Uh, Roger Tyne Lock has been leaving the door. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no one else had locked it. That's why I left it unlocked. I was planning to go back. Oh. Weird. Um, Roger Tyne has left medical supplies in two different offices today so far. Mm. Uh, on top of his advertising his medical services and given his history, uh, Keith oh. and I are actually riding to all the medical offices to check right. and see if he left packages. Uh, left packages. And I Do you mind if I join along? Not at all. I figure that gives us uh, something to do until the funeral. I will likely still be working during that. People need to... I... I feel it's not my place to go so other people can go and mourn and also so the crossing is still defended. Oh, out of there. Howdy. Howdy, Bolo. We'll go check yeah, my telegrams before we take off on the next place. Yeah, yeah. Do I just ride down there anyway? Yeah, you wanna come along? So Mercer, just to let you know the route we're going, we're headed St. Denis, Ansberg, and all the way back to Strawberry, uh, Blackwater, and then uh, west if we feel the need. Alright, well that does help me as I am back to Le Moyne, so I get the check-in on both of my places. Oh, welcome to my station area. I used to be Le Moyne in the first place. You know that. I feel like I oh, knew that, but I forgot. Do any of y'all know where a senior might be? I, I need to find some supplies. Oh. Uh, best I could offer is just best best Valentine right now. And ask for where they would be so you can go meet them. Yeah, I'll run to Valentine. Then. Yeah, there were two in Valentine when we left right. there a little bit ago. Appreciate it. Um, something's coming up. What's your opinion on it? Mm, fair enough. Be safe. I'll try. Alright, I'm gonna go check the telegrams real quick. Mm hmm. I'll be here. Howdy, y'all. Howdy, now. Howdy.
have... No, I don't care. It's smoke skin. Damn it. I was going to have Hutch to actually smoke a cigarette. He doesn't have one. Fuck. Fuck. Is it just me, or does today keep getting more interesting by the minute? No. Yeah, just with, uh, starts out easy, checking for ABC, then we find the medical stuff, and now that last conversation. Out of there. Done. Sent. Done. All right. Oh, it's pelting down. What the hell? Cool. Ow. I'll likely head back to St. Denis if you two are going to go off to Strawberry. Hmm. That's fair. But, yeah, as I said, I can confirm Jack Cuddleman and Mills are back. Cuddleman was around last night. There was a report that there was a big shootout between the Bastards and Kettleman's group last night. Multiple times his name was confirmed by Likely. Well, myself and a bunch of others saw Kettleman at Rastkeller last night. Uh, there was a talk between Under Sheriff Chevalier and some others with them. I don't know details, but Kettleman was there. If he's back, that's just going to make things more interesting. Well, maybe I can go tell Hans. You best start looking for bushes so you can find Kettleman pooping in one like he wants to do. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Hans wants to find Jack Hans Kettleman. has said he hopes to find Kettleman with his pants down so he can arrest him is more than you can tell. Oh my god, it sounds like I missed a lot in the last month. Yeah, you did. You missed quite a bit. Yeah, I know. The Pruitts are no more. Yep, I heard that. I know about uh, Redding, I know about Audrey, I know about Malone. Yeah. Those are the big things. Uh, last night... I guess we have some weird cultists that like to dig up dead deputies and have rituals with their corpses. Yeah. You're not gonna like who was dug up either. I already know who it was I read. Mm-hmm. 
Not exactly happy to hear that's happened. I was telling Neither Keith here. I. I was telling Keith here earlier today. I better not be the one to find them, because I probably will lose my badge over it. He was a damn good friend and a damn good mentor. And to have his cor his corpse and his grave desecrated like that. That's despicable. That has. Golden Hounds are becoming a rather well-known gang at the time. They are uh, Donnie Dollars, Camden's. Sasha Agen, not to be confused with Sasha Reznikov, who is now deceased. I'm sorry, what? Uh, apparently, yeah, Sasha yeah, like... did something back in Russia, and they sent some assassins after her. They got her. The Last assassins night? were cornered by law. Shootout ensued. Two were shot down. The other two were executed. Okay. <clears throat> Don't know who. Armbrel, thank you for the triple lurk. I appreciate you. Woods Gang is rather active. They are. They have a vendetta against Bluestone. They think they're another gang. <laughs> Woods Gang's been active since before even I went away. Jesus. Yeah, well, they've been a lot more active. Very active. Yep. Black Hats are also very active. Their that gang was... war with the Woods Gang has come to an end, but it seems what Woods Gang was doing to them, which was extorting, is something they're more than okay with doing to civilians. So mm. they are just as bad as the Woods Gang, and... I know they've cooperated with us a lot, but we've been showing them a lot of mercy. Hmm. Black Hats are Lola's gang, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Thought I recognized the name. It was starting to come up right before I left. Mm hmm. I guess Waggy's group is no longer Cuff 'em, but now back to Waggles. I suppose. Uh, remnants of the Kelly gang are now the Mora gang or something like that. Yeah. Josie Adders is supposedly dead. Yeah, I heard she's supposedly gone. I won't believe that till I see her body. Ian, what up, buddy? Well, supposedly she's already buried, so there might not be yep. seeing a body. Mm. Still, what got her? My guess is they still had a feud with the bastards. Or maybe she got shot in a shootout with us and didn't get the treatment in time and just was never brought towards one of our state doctors. Hmm. All kinds yeah. of things could have done it. That's interesting. I made the mention yesterday when I, uh, when I got back in, got my badge, and kind of looked around. I made the mention that Castle can finally rest in peace. Gentlemen, pardon us. Know. Passing on your right. Passing on your left. Sorry. Sandy knee. Oh, what you been doing? Oh wait, I got a dab. Okay, stand by. Recognize those two? The one with the blonde hair was the name you think of Hathaway, but I'm not sure. Ah. Yeah, I thought I it was don't... Hathaway at a moment too. It doesn't seem like him to just ride so slowly into Saint Denis. Not without numbers. Fair. He was riding on a wagon with two others yesterday. There's one. There's a few. Howdy. 
Hey. Saw a stagecoach. And we'll go straight to the medical office and poke around. Mm hmm. Why is this such appropriate music for Saint Denis? One left. One left. Oh, Mercer. Hmm. We ran into a fella. You might recognize the name if you've read anything on Taipan. Apparently, Bai Li is back in town. Interesting. Yep, we ran into him in Emerald. Well, that might be Taipan coming back then. That's what it seemed to indicate. He said he was looking to bring others soon. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, the Hutch Mercer dynamic is really good. Autumn's an incredible role player. Nothing in there. Good. And nothing up in the front areas. All oh, right. What about back here? Never outside the realm of possibility. Yeah. I know from working with uh, working with AB on something. They've got a nurse's station over here. Doing what with AB? Uh, when I right before I left, we had to carry somebody into here. There's a little nurses station they mm. have for overnight patients. Okay. Oh, there's a sink right there. If you didn't know. Huh. It's from our good buddy here. Mm -hmm. okay. Makes me wonder if it's just the two offices we found so far. Mm. Could be, but it's still worth going and checking out Ansberg because he tends to go out there pretty often. Mm. As long as you see it, yep. True. But it never hurts to check. Be good to check in and stop the tip line before we go. Nope, oh, I was actually just thinking that too. Some things never change. Yep. No, they don't. <laughs> Slappy Robin! I find the more things change, the more they tend to stay the same. Gee, I wonder who said something similar to that earlier. Hmm, getting a strong sense of deja vu. <laughs> Did that person also have red hair? I'm not going to confirm or deny that. That's confirmation. <laughs> Yo, Demon Dog, what up, dude? Well, I was uh, mentioning earlier that a lot of things change, but a lot of things just feel the same at that. Yeah, man, it has been. How you been? Robin, hello, lovely. How are ya? Hope you will. Ooh, ooh. I don't know why I chose this particular way to go back to the office, but uh, I did. Why not? 
Missed you. I missed you too. I sent Don a telegram. You at the bank? Saw some folk. Yep. Keeping my eye on Saint Denis. Uh, Senior Deputy Monet has asked that we do try to have more active foot patrols and more presence here in Saint Denis. Hmm. I did see that. We're taking a break. I know. I know. But it's there. Ugh. Something I am in agreement with. I was in agreement with that long before I took my time away. Saint Denis needs more love to it. More people, uh, mm -hmm. more people walking. The only one that really was doing it for a while was Roscoe. Honestly, he still kind of is the only one really doing it. Mm. Looks like we have some company. I'm gonna check the tip line myself because I don't think I've looked at it yet. There's nothing going on, just people moving to places. Mm. Just took a hammer to see the name of the Howdy. Says, Howdy, Mercy. How have you been? Yeah, wire well, safety's definitely been stopped. different. But it's yeah, allowed a lot of opportunity. Got a sore throat, but that's about it. Mm. Well, God damn, as I live and breathe. Does, is that a, is that old Roscoe? Yes, sir. We were just talking about you. Yeah. How you been? You've been all right. Mostly here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was mostly what we were talking about. How uh, Monet has asked for more patrols here, and you tend to be the one doing that all the time, which is fantastic. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I've mostly just going through paperwork right now. Kind of rereading stuff, proofreading. Mm. Yeah, I'm having to catch up. You know, you disappear for a month, things tend to happen. Oh, a lot's happened. Yeah, I know. A lot has happened. Believe me, I know. And I'm getting all of it at once. Oh, uh, well, I would love to stay and catch up, Roscoe, but we're actually on our way to Ansberg. Uh,. Roger Tyne has been leaving medical supplies and packages in the various medical offices around, so just keep right. your eyes on uh, on med offices as you go around. If you guys are heading up that way, if he's, if he's still awake, uh, tell Riley I said hi. Yeah, I we'll see, do. He's, see he's clocked on. I know he's been working up there a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I'll relay the message for you. I would appreciate it. Yeah. You take gotta, care. Yeah, I got to go deal with some stuff and I'll probably be on the clock in two hours from now. <laughs> okay. Uh, have fun. Be safe, Roscoe. Good to see you. Same to you, Mercer. You be safe too, Hodge. Yep. Yeah, no, there definitely was a power gap when when Dicenza's left, but, you know, some groups have been trying to step in. Victory Street had it for a while, some others here and there, but sounds like we're finally uh, seeing some other groups come back, too, and set that up, so. All right, well, Landsberg, away we go. Let's go left. Mm-hmm, yep.
anyone else try to set up businesses here in St. Denis since Dicenzo skipped town? Ah, uh, we've got a few out and about, and might want to hold off on saying the Dicenzos have skipped town because we're hearing rumors that they're coming back. Oh, well. Pearlie's back, at least. Uh, Chevalier could swear up and down she saw one of the brothers at one stage, or at least someone who looks like their spitting image, so... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. It's very possible they're coming back. And what about Victory Street? They still running around? I haven't really heard of them lately, but they're still on our highly wanted list, and they've been on that list probably since before you went on your leave of absence. Hmm. Wherever they are, they're hiding themselves real proper and good. Yeah, interesting. All right, let's pick this up to a canter. Make Gainsburg mm -hmm. by dark. And some other updates, I think. I think we know the name of the ABC killer. Was that a sh Is that, uh, yeah, we do, Noah Adair. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go left real quick. I see somebody out there, I think, hunting. Sure. Heard a gunshot. Okay, yep, we'll carry on. Really? Um, maybe. Well, let's go say hi, see if it is. Howdy there. Everything okay? Uh, yeah, everything's just fine. All right. Oh, just doing some hunting with some turtles. Uh, yeah, at the moment. All right. How's uh, how's the hunting been today? Uh, pretty good. But I got this thing stuck in the back of my wagon. It just doesn't want to come out. Yeah, that's the case with the hunting wagons. Once they're there, they're there until they're sold, and then that's about it. You gotta take the cart itself to a butcher table to sell everything. Oh, no, no, I, I, that I get. I mean, there's something in there that uh, not even the butcher knows what it is. Huh. Mm. I mean, you can, you're more than welcome to take a look. That, um, that might just be the wagon. I think it might just be something bolted to the bottom. I'm not sure what it yeah. is. Yeah. Here, let me take a look, see if... Uh... The hell? Mercy, uh -huh. come take a look at this. Alright. Seems we found something interesting. Huh. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be something I say you make note of and send it off to the butcher's bosses. Mm. And see what That's they can what do I about figured. it. Yeah, the, the butcher's bosses, um, yeah, let them know that that's there, or even the, uh, the wagon company, uh, that rents those out, uh, they probably need to know, too. Mm -hmm. Well, now, now uh, I absolutely yeah, have to look, because... <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman here has found the one mystery that Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department can't figure out. Hmm, <laughs> mm hmm yep, that's a doozy. Yeah. Well, what's life without a bit of mystery, right? Eh? Yeah, true. Uh, yeah. Not sure. What's? Uh, yeah, what's no idea, it? man. I I wish I could tell you, but I tried to get the butcher to take it off the wagon, and uh, he doesn't. He still tells. You know, he told me he doesn't know what it is, pretty much. Oh jeez. Because he doesn't know what to give me for it. That's fair enough. Yeah, sorry, we couldn't be more help with it. 
Oh, uh, no, you're fine. Um, I don't think a whole lot of anybody could be of use when it comes to whatever that is. Yeah, no, I would, uh, maybe the wagon manufacturer can find out what's going on with that little compartment. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, well, sorry to trouble you. You have a good rest of your day, yeah? Yeah, enjoy your hunting. Yeah, just yeah, be careful around, uh, around the sugarcane fields. There's sometimes a panther around there. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, uh, he met me earlier, but he's too slow. <laughs> well, I mean, we are pretty close to that little church, so this is still panther territory, so mm. please be careful. Uh, yeah, I've seen him. He's uh, right over at that little mini church place over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've seen him over there before. All right. All right. You take care. Yep. Take care, sir. Do you see why I confused him? Uh huh. If I didn't know any better, that was Forrester in in person. Uh huh. Just with black hair instead of brown. Pretty much. Let's go left off road. Interesting discovery, though, nonetheless. Hey, you know, if that's the most interesting thing we come across today, that's a good day in my book. Somehow I feel that's not going to be the most interesting thing I come across today. Ah, I know. One can have a little bit of hope, right? Well, maybe we'll come across Jack Cutterman shitting in a bush and we can arrest him. <laughs> I'll rub that one in Hans's face for the rest of my career. Agree. He's led some interactions with him before he was a senior, so it. Let's go left he on has the tracks. That history. That's if fair. If going to Van Horn and Ansberg, these are not the tracks to go left on. Oh shit! Yep. Never mind. Going right. <clears throat> Called it early. So I'll blame that on. Set of tracks. Yeah. I, I'm still rusty. Wagon? Okay. Wagon. Do you know how many times I got? And had to remind myself, Nika, these are not the right tracks. <sighs> Alright, now we're gonna hop on these tracks. That's three times a year on GTA, man. Three times more. That's true. Fair. But, you know. It ain't about being rusty. It's just you see tracks in your mind. Comes one track, and there you go. Yep, that's true. Well, I haven't even seen a train for the last month. But you gotta remember, I've been in the middle of the woods in the Appalachian Mountains. I know. I was Holy gonna say, you haven't been around to see a train. Telling Keith, the only real company I had was a uh, farmer and, uh, and his wife, not too far from where I was staying. So if I ever want a company, I just go uh, spend time with them and help out on the ranch. Helping out on the ranch ain't bad. Oh, it's uh, good work. Emerald has a job board now. They have plenty of chores you can do, and they even have some for some of the ranches that are nearby. Hmm. It's good to hear that, uh, what's well, happening. Oh, there's a handful of riders. Didn't get the opportunity to get a look in at them. One of them had a red shirt, one had a Breton. Uh, that's mm -hmm. about all I saw. The one with the red shirt, uh, I think he had darker skin and his hair pulled back. Shaved sides, you know, the style where it's kind of braided in the back. Yeah, kind of like what uh, Forest Fish hair was for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean whether Z Tart comes back or not, you know, or whether the Shenzos do it or. Familiar, but I'm not sure it doesn't matter. Seems there's boats here. That's a Buckskin Mustang. Yep. Yeah, 
I mean, it's it's up to them, you know. I hope Easy they're doing to well. recognize the same kind of horse you're riding. So. <laughs> yeah, or like uh, Keith and I, everybody running a spotted Norfolk. Occasionally not the whole game. Yeah, fair enough. You know, everybody's got that place they want to be or need to be. And you know, if they're if they're doing better on GTA, power to them. You know, if they want to come back here, that's great. I'm not gonna knock them one way or the other. Who'd you say is in You see? Big, big growly bear on the roof there. Wait, gunsmith what? is a black bear. There's a black bear on the roof of the gunsmith. Oh, lovely. That might have been a deputy. That might have been three of our deputies because they left here and went to Blackwater. Mm. Excuse me, sir. You mind vacating the doorway? They were a little too spread out to be. Deputy Patrol. Alright, no package here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be too far. Well, I'm thinking it was just those two towns for now. Um, mm, maybe for now. Yeah, for now. We just probably need to keep a running list of who we see and where. Yep. And mm -hmm. uh, leave this at that moment. Sure. But I don't know about y'all, I gotta go find the outhouse behind the sheriff's office. Mm, that's fair. Yep. That's a big old black bear. Mm-hmm. I can't help but wonder if maybe we need to get that off the roof. Downside is if we do that, it's gonna piss off all the the town's guard. Maybe. That is a big black bear, almost bigger than average. Uh huh. All right, chat. I gotta run to the restroom. I'll be back.
Chad, I feel better. I also got a piece of chicken for Ladybug. Got that shredded up and she's chowing down. Oop. Bob Riley Briggs, Blackwater, okay. Where did my deputies go? Uh, Fog Ghost, what up, dude? Welcome in. How you doing? Where'd Keith go? I do not know. Hmm. All I know is both you and I needed to step away for a minute. He dead, and now we don't know where Keith is. <laughs> okay, but big tired. Oh man, sorry to hear that. Maybe he needed to do the same thing. It might be. Hmm. I do need to send a telegram, so. Ass black bear though. Ed? I got a better look at it. It's just a normal black bear. Oh, just weird angle for us, I guess. Say we just wait in front of the office and see if he shows up. Yeah, his horse is still here, so. Exactly. Did you. Did we check the on duty roster to see if he's still on duty? Mm, no. I feel like he would have told us or waited for us if he was going to go off duty. Or at the very least, send in a tip about it. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Mm hmm. Mystery solved, we found you. Yeah, I was just sitting in the cell. So, I'm thinking that going to the other medical offices may not be the best idea now. Just given the fact that we've had three duds in a row. Hmm. Yep. At least we know where he's kind of trying to operate out of. Yeah, Valentine and Blackwater. Yeah. I'm tempted to double check Strawberry just because it's in the middle, but yeah. Yeah, I don't recall seeing anything there, but I also didn't really pay attention when I was there earlier. I said hey to Connor. Hey, welcome back, Ash. 
so I'm thinking I will probably make my way back towards Valentine personally. All right. right. I, well, I mean, I'll probably go south through like St. Denis and Rhodes into Valentine just to take my dear sweet time, but uh, I do want to try to be somewhat close uh, and get ready for Audrey's funeral. Yeah, same. I'll probably stay in Rhodes once we get there. Mm. Sure, sure. Yeah, well then uh, we can just do a reverse route. We can uh, swing down to St. Denis, do a quick pass through there, head up to Rhodes, check the tip line, and then uh, Keith and I can make our way to Valentine and leave you and Rhodes there, Mercer. Sounds good to me. All right, then maybe we'll get lucky and pick a shipment up along the way uh, if she can wake up. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep. She put herself on the list of folks going to Audrey's funeral, and I have a sneaking suspicion she put yeah. my name on. Okay. Oh, you didn't put... Oh, I didn't put my name on the list. I wanted to go, um, but mm. I'm pretty sure she put yeah, my name for me. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that, yeah. Because she knew Audrey was a very good friend and was supposed to be part of our wedding. Send a tip for us. Thank you. Oh, my sweetheart. Do you not feel good, Ladybug? Off we go. I will pick up to a cancer. So I saw that we got a wallaby. How'd that happen? I wasn't around when that happened, but... Mm. I so care. the details are not something I'm privy to. Aha. Uh -huh. No, mate. That's fair enough. I saw his name off the top of the wanted list in favor of ABC, and I was like, when the hell did we decide to nab wallaby? When he decided he wanted to come back, <laughs> I will hop tracks here. It'll be the same thing with Ketterman soon enough. Yep. And soon enough with ABC as well. Just hopefully before ABC gets a hold of Dalloway. Mm. I'm sick and tired of people deciding they want to target deputies. <laughs> that makes two of us. But the unfortunate side is, it's the world we live in, and it's the price we have to pay to wear this badge on our chest.
chat ladybug is not feeling good her tummy's being a little rumbly today it is good to have her home though Cut right and get on the road. The funeral is in about an hour now. Okay. I know Malone's is on Wednesday, and that's something I wouldn't be able to make one way or the other. Yeah, it's unfortunately at a time I can't make. I think Malone's is like four in the afternoon, uh, New York time. He uh, isn't someone I really got to interact with all that much. Spoke with him a couple times, mostly work related. Ran on patrol with him several times. He was eccentric in his own way, but damn, he got stuff done. Yeah. Uh, once O'Neill found out, I wound up buying him a glass of bourbon. Hmm. Oh, are you around when O'Neill became a deputy again? Yeah, I was around when, uh, when he finally got back in. Okay. He's been putting in a lot of work. Really? Yes, he has. Yeah, good on him. I seemed mean, like he had a good head. He used to be a senior deputy, so he probably still has that work ethic. Going right? Yeah, that's what I remember hearing was he was a former senior. I mean, Abner's been putting in a lot of good work as well, so has Graves. Hmm. It's good to hear that everyone's pulling good weight lately. Uh, the other night, uh, myself and Graves led talks and then tactics with Golden Hounds. That was an hour and a half long shootout. Jeez. <coughs> yeah, I remember uh, Graves and I kind of worked on a, a firefight in uh, the battlefields right outside of Rhodes against uh, the Rude Boy group. That was an interesting day. Trumpet player's got dedication, even in this downpour uh, rainstorm. Mm. Yeah. I mean, what He's everybody's gotta make money somehow, doesn't he? Yeah, true. I mean, say what they, you know, say what they will about Malone. Like, yeah, there's a few things that were iffy. How many other folks work outside, and does the rain stop them? 
True. I can name three right now that are working in the rain. <laughs> Two of them don't happen to be redheads, are they? One of them might also be wearing glasses. Yeah, I couldn't imagine who those three are. No must idea. Have some, you know, real dedication. It must have some real dedication to their work. <laughs> Something like that, I'd wager. Yeah. I never thought I would actually say these words, so you two cherish them. I never thought I'd actually be glad to be back in the, uh, the smog and smoke-filled mess of St. Denis. cherish them, especially if, uh, if certain things happen, this might be a bit more where I tend to go. Oh, yeah? You thinking of making a push for senior? Maybe. I think you should. Let's see. I... I have been checking where folks are stationed. Valentine only has one senior deputy, but at, uh, Weller and I share similar hours, so I'd rather go somewhere where they don't have the coverage of when I'd be around. Fair enough. St. Denis seniors are more early. Wagon and rider. Yeah, wagon coming in. Howdy, y'all. Howdy. Well, if you decide to make that push for senior Mercer, I've got your back. Let's see. <laughs> of course, you're very I can do plenty as a field training officer. Yeah. That's exactly the same for me. I can do plenty in my role as it is. I don't need anything more or less. If I'm asked to do it, that's great. But if not, I'll take it as I am right now. Yeah, no, Malone is a memorable character because Bird is a fantastic role player. Uh, overall, like, you know you're a great role player and you that person is a great role player when the characters are that memorable. Hmm. Uh, Taichi, thank you for the follow. Welcome in.
Ugh. Sorry, chat. I don't know why I'm so yawny today. Sweet home. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be staying here. I gotta check a few things before I move on to Valentine. Thunder, if you're staying on the porch, you better be keeping it clean. I don't want to see any dust. Howdy. Howdy, Mercer. Howdy, Hutch. Howdy, we Mercer. saw uh, somebody that looked very much like you earlier today, and we mm -hmm. got confused. Was it Norman? Because apparently he and I look a lot alike with a beard. Uh, no, it's a fella from St. Denis, but it seems we're going to need folk off in Valentine. Yeah, four have already responded. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, go. you're kind of headed that way anyway, so. Yeah. See if I can jump in and help out a little bit. Forrester. It's been a while. Do you want me to mark you as responding, Hutch? Yeah, please do. It's good to see you again, my friend. And what about you, Keith? It's good to see you, too. You okay? Yeah, I'll mosey that way and see if they need a, a full... Recovery. I'm not sure if you read the file. Yeah. I didn't know you were attacked. I'm sorry. Yeah, my sister's here in the crossing. Kidnapped Elena. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, we both got tortured during a mock wedding for us. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's, it happened. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. And I'm sorry I wasn't there to help sooner. No, no, there was... We were taken from Blackwater Telegram office while there was deputies in town, so it's not a matter of if anyone was there, nothing would change. Yeah. Uh, there was already people there. Rockwell walked in while they were taking us, so. Yeah. Well, you don't push yourself too hard, and I'll see you here uh -huh. soon for Audrey's funeral. Yeah, that's, just, that's the only reason I'm awake right now, is to go to Audrey's funeral. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting on Ellie to wake up and then we'll probably head over to Strawberry and just wait. Yeah, we're gonna go check in on the group in Valentine and see that everything's okay and then if not, uh, if everything's good, I'll mosey to Strawberry from there. Um, mm -hmm. if you see Shipman, uh, tell her I'll be waiting for her in Strawberry. Yeah, last time I saw her. By the way, uh, you're fucking... Shipman's on their way to Valentine. Your, uh, your, your fiancé is a fucking gremlin. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. I was sitting on that bed. Next thing I know, she's fucking crawling up from under it. Yeah, that was weird. Hmm. But very on brand for, <laughs> for yep. her. Yeah. All right, deputies. Let's make our way to Valentine. Forrester, I'll see you in Strawberry. I will be staying here as there's already six responding. Okay. It's very safe. I don't know who they are, but they're getting a picture because damn, that looks good. <laughs> Got um, shipment and Briggs. They're going to Valentine. All right. So I took myself off it. I love the matching outfits you guys have. Looking great. 
And well, it's in town, so we have room for a little bit more. Besides, I'm gonna be peeling off as soon as uh, things are calm. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll follow you anyway, and then. Yep. Um, yeah. And yeah, we'll play it by ear from there. Let's go. Yeah, I forgot about the town. Yep, alright, let's pick so, it up. I'm so used to the group of six shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get used to it, but then you gotta remember, you know, towns, it's fair game for anybody. Yeah, it's completely different, yeah, yeah. That's where the, uh, the Prolix chose their final stand, as it were. That's what I heard about the Val Battle oh, of Valentine. Yeah. Going straight, watch the rocks. One left. Yeah. We're doing up and over over the heartlands. Cut right now. That's good. I seem to remember my old route still a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope my kid. I was only gone a month. Not like I was gone a year and a half or some shit. Right, right. Stay on the road and cut through. Let me know when you're ready to pick right. it up. Sure. I think mine's as good as it's gonna get. What about you? Yeah, yeah, fine. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, snake. Your fiance is a fucking little gremlin. Yep, I know, Forrester. Tell me something I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Hutch is like overly tempted to just say, fuck it. Grab Penny, grab a sheriff, and go get married today. Like, that's how much he's cherishing what's around him because of the loss. Way late to the party, but so every day you have sheriffs around, true, true. Valentine bubble. Yep, it is. The town is dustier than the goddamn desert. Right. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm going to leave. I'm gonna strawberry. Yep. I'm gonna clock I'm, off there. Yep. I'm coming with you. Yeah. Right. Up. We're just gonna go straight through. Yeah. Which way did 
go. Put the gremlin. I know. I know. It was going to be epic. Yeah, as soon as I got to the door, I felt the sand flying everywhere, and I was like, nope, we're not staying here. Phone, please. your opinion on something we get a strawberry I uh, sure. made an outfit to go to the funeral but I'm not sure if it looks uh, good enough for a funeral if that makes sense mm, yeah sure so I could use a second uh, second set of eyes because I'm not exactly the most fashionable man out there All right. I will do my best I appreciate it Chan, hello. Hello. Cut left. <laughs> How you doing, potato? Good to see you again. Long time. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that prime sub. Much appreciated. Goddamn legend. Fire. <laughs> Watching Conan RP's fantasy kick. That's fair enough, man. That's fair enough. See how you two are gonna be. Y'all doing well? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Uh, getting ready for the sheer emotional trauma that's about to happen. I'll send a telegram when we get in that just says that Valentine's dusty and we broke off. Sure. sure. This lappy, he started. Gonna clock off. Yeah, I'm gonna be clocking off so as well, get, so yeah, I'll note that. Get pulled into anything else. Yeah. Mm. Maybe seeing that will drag my fiance out of that office too. Yeah, um, yeah should be. Um, you might uh, be able to catch me. God, it's a sand. Okay. 
Yeah, Laura, I'll do my best to catch you. And if I don't, I hope you and your uh, your other half have a good time. If not, I can send you. If I don't see you in a few days, I'll send you a telegram. Just yeah, okay. Or, yeah, I'd like to hear it. Or tell. Well, actually, Nadia, my Nadia already knows I ran it by her. She said to uh, talk to the year or so. Okay. Appreciate you. Yeah, okay. be safe. Uh, my condolences again. Hello. Yeah. Howdy, Sheriff. Hey, uh, hey, Arch. Shit. Didn't expect to see you today. You alright? Uh, it was okay. I got back in last night. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. I don't really know I'll have words to say about it. A lot of people have been saying sorry to me. No apologies needed, but I get it's a formality of what you say to somebody when they lose somebody. Hmm. Well, it's not just somebody there. It's family. Yeah. And Funerals today if you uh if you wanted to come. Yeah. My uh my better half took it on uh on her shoulders to put my name on the list. Before I even got back in the cross and off the train, too, at that. No, you too well, huh? <laughs> yeah, she does. How was your trip? It was good. Uh, time away, I was just kind of by myself in the mountains and the Appalachians. I was able to clear up a few cobwebs in my head and, uh,. Just kind of recenter myself, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Good for you, Hutch. I'm uh, glad you found yourself. You, know, you were pretty beat up, been through shit, span of a very short time. So. Yeah. Yeah, life has a funny way of throwing all that shit at us, and it's what we make of it that makes us who we are ain't that the truth mm. well, welcome back I guess I'm sorry the train come back into the best of news it's been a uh... yeah been a hell of a time yeah I know at least that's what everybody's been telling me since I got back so yeah. now when this is when you're ready, let's, uh, let's chat and have a drink sometime. Catch up. Talk anything but shop. You know, I'd like that. Mm. I'm going to get the day out the way and probably take a day for myself, but I'll, uh, I'll be around tomorrow. Yeah. Try I should, catch be, you. should be around tomorrow a little bit myself, too. I, uh, I do still have an investigation I'm leading, apparently, so I got to keep eyes on this town for it. But I'll see you again here soon, Sheriff. I, I thought I heard my better half run into town and I haven't seen her in a month, so. Yeah, go and find her. Ah, Eddie. Howdy. Why are you here? Why do you. Th oh, my head. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. oh no. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god, what a time to fucking crash. <laughs> Subscribe to this. Hey, yo. It's <laughs> an ill omen for it. <laughs> god damn it, game. Ooh. The love was too strong for the server. True. True. <laughs> Send one up, buddy. Get this. Love this. Hey, look. You keep waving that sussy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, we're we're going to have to have a, you know, a chat, sir.
chat, are we just are, are we just in a sussy mood tonight? Just gonna egg them all slap? Yeah, I know why. I know. They were all gonna go sussy even if I didn't say anything. Okay, let's just be real. God damn it. I look over and I just see a bunch of sussy butts flying around like fuck. Baka baka. Um, this, this can wait. <laughs> Love the rendering. Just everything kind of comes into place. Eddie, Eddie, I'm sorry. Hold on, I'm I'm looking for. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I need to go you? to Ruben. Uh, <sighs> okay, uh, are you hmm? busy? Yes. Tuesday night at nine. Oh. Tuesday night at nine. Uh, it would Nothing be. Stars. It I just case. got changed, right you asshole. Uh, <laughs> I come here. Could I care. I'll make give you a bath later yes. or something. I haven't seen you in a month. All right, congratulations. You're invited to my wedding. Oh shit, you, darling. I'll Wait, like this picture. upcoming Tuesday? It's good yeah. to be home. Fuck. Okay. Uh, missed you. Could missed you, you send me a letter as well, please? God, please. Uh, yes, I'll send you an invitation after okay, everything. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I am taking a fucking bath. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> someone okay, shoved me into the mud. I, I gotta go change anyway. Okay. Okay, that works. Where is he? Blackwater. Okay. Do you want me to come along or? Howdy, my daughter. Howdy. You just miss out by literally like two minutes. I mean, I was here, but then I had a headache. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm, I missed you guys. Missed you too. He just laid his head down. That's fine. I'm, uh... I'm not exactly sure if I'm in the mood to see my soon to be son in law. Oh, uh, that's fair. You know, the whole like days before the wedding kind of uh -huh. deal. Yeah. Uh huh. Well. He's got a bit of a cold right now, so he's gonna go try to sleep it off. Howdy, Clark. Hi there. Ah, good on him. So, it's not official yet, but I got a telegram from Wild that she believes I'd be the best fit for the Ranger Liaison. Oh, good shit. And she asked who I thought would be a good senior deputy to partner with me on that, and I recommended, um... Ruben, hmm. because he also has close relationships with most of the rangers and he has good rapport with them. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Give him something to do, yeah. too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're both good on keeping folk up to date with things, so. Hmm. I mean, I just spent the last 15 minutes updating Justine on the ABC killer, so, and I'm looking for something for Willie. Yeah. I'm gonna go change into my funeral clothes, so I will, uh, I'll be back. Okay, recommendation is something comfy. Okay? Okay, there we go. Yeah, well, comfy and somewhat formal for me kind of seem to go together. So I'll be back. Fair enough. Hey, darling. God damn it, somebody's in the tailor changing. Howdy. Hey, how you been? I've been okay, Pugsley. How you been? Yeah, I've uh, I've been all right. I've been all right. I, uh... Yeah, glad to hear that. You've grown out your beard a little bit there. 
I'm not here. I'm not here. The whole thing. The whole thing. Jesus. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it all. Doing it all. I might now. I might shave it November first. I might go. Uh, I might go pretty much in, turn into an egg on November first and just see what happens. <laughs> Might start a trend that way. Be careful. Well, you know, you got to try somehow, haven't you? So, uh, gotta yeah. do it. Gotta try. Gotta try somehow. Yeah. I you, uh, you going to that funeral? Yeah. Yeah. Audrey what? was a very close friend of mine. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't know her too well. I met her and uh, Ruben at the, the market, uh, when they would sell their baked goods. Mm. Um, she seemed really nice. Um, I'm getting a. How one of the rangers is going? Um, it's gonna, it's gonna send me the uh, location where they're buried. I'm gonna go and pay my own respects. We've uh, got a ranger event tonight, so uh, gonna go to that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and pay my own respects. She, uh, she seemed very nice. What you did? Yeah, she was good people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, I don't want to hold you up. I've uh, I've got to go to Saint Denis and uh, get some uh, get some makeup on uh, for my Halloween outfit. Funnily enough, so because um, it's it's out that way, so got to got to get there early. So uh, you uh, you be safe, all right? Uh, it's good seeing yeah, you. Yeah, you too. Good seeing you. All right. Fuck! Somebody's still changing. Is there anybody in this one? Mm, oh, wait, there's one in that one? Is there one in that one? That's I don't know. One. I thought there wasn't. Oh, I'm wrong. It's free now. Thank you, Sil. Yeah, I've been okay. Been enjoying my uh enjoyed my leave. Good. Month up in the, the woods of the Appalachian Mountains will do a lot of wonders for folks. I'm glad to hear that. Mm. It's fine, honestly. I kind of did the same. Hmm. I woke up, you were gone, and then I decided, fuck it. Just took off for her. Hmm. I wasn't coping. I'm sorry I did that to you. No, oh, don't be. I'm going to apologize. a couple knuckles you know the crate set side of Blackwater yeah yeah found out I punched a couple holes in some of them and was throbbing real bad for a while afterwards it just still hurts a bit when I open and close my fist I 
can still feel everything. It's okay. It's just... It's fine. Okay. I'll get it checked out if it bugs me too much. Should I be worried? No. Okay. Happy case. Because I realized in my time G'day. away. <clears throat> G'day. I realized what it is I truly want to keep. And this just solidifies everything. Finding out last night, talking to Wiley last night, seeing Sheriff Sand. Way that he was earlier. I feel bad for not having spoken to Wiley or Sam since it happened. Don't. They've been yeah. bombarded with people left and right. I know. I know. Just. Yeah. I feel like I should say something, yeah. but at the same time, the fuck, are you, the fuck are you supposed to say? There's nothing you really can say. I was Outside saying, of just express considering singing, but I don't think I'd even make it through a verse. Pain, that you're sorry for the hurt that, yeah. that you're there for them, whatever they need. I suppose. That's true. Is it just the one second? Just doesn't feel like it makes it. Like makes up for it. It's not like she can run away from me now. Of course, she never seemed to mind it in the first place. Let's rip on the roof. I don't know. How the fuck did he even get up there? Get up there. Thought you would. I thought we were all going bananas then. I've just realised. Eh. <laughs> Ripper, are you that desperate to keep your kneecaps intact? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How the fuck do you get up there? Like, like, like this. <laughs> What, are you going to start meowing oh, at me? Oh God. Justice. Your kneecaps a man. Please don't take his kneecaps while standing this high above Brent. Yeah, please don't. I'd be more worried about his head at that point. I've jumped down from here before. I've jumped down onto my horse from here before. I've not raced jumping all the way down. 
I reckon Magnus could not take it. No, I just gotta roll. Look what you guys did, we scared him off. Do you reckon I can land on Keith? <laughs> don't. <laughs> Funny, but don't. Coward. <laughs> Keith. Hey, Nadia. Can I chat with you over here for a minute? Yeah. Keith. Oh, is it not? Wait. Yes. Yes? So... Oh. I've come to a realization uh -huh. with my time away and with finding out about Audrey just yesterday and I'm still coming to terms with it. But I think I'm tired of waiting and I think I'm... After all this is settled the next day or two, I think I'm gonna grab uh, Penny and whoever I can find nearby and just go ahead and get married forgetting the big ceremony and this, that, and the other. That's fair. I had what Ruben and Audrey did. I'm curious uh, when you would be around the next couple of days. See if I can try to, uh, to sneak you in or sneak a right time or something. Ironically, I probably won't be around next until my wedding. Mm. Um, I've got a couple of busy days ahead of me. That's fair. It's understandable. I don't expect many people to be free. It's short notice, but I'm realizing now that any day I could wake up and she could be gone, or she could wake up and I could be gone. And I don't yep. want to leave things undone. That's fair. Yeah, it's one. Helena kind of hurried up on our planes as well. That's completely fair. Yeah. You better okay. believe that I will fight tooth and nail to be at your wedding. Well, yeah, I imagine you don't have to fight too hard unless you just are fighting sleep. Well, sleep, and it is a bit of a later time for me. We'll see what happens. It's fair. I know. It's later than I'd like, but for the folks that are, at the very least, for who's officiating it, it'll be under shared graves. Mm, that'd be a good it one. Felt, it felt cruel to ask Mitch to do it. After everything. Yeah. I'm the same so. way. I don't want to ask. Uh, I don't want to ask him to fish get dark. Well, ah. And Hal really wanted Danny to be there, so. Mm. You know, based to both worlds and all. Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna go find my better half, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna go love on her a little bit before we have this. Hey, you rocked in there. dug up Uncle Camden's grave. Yeah, I know. We don't know who. Don't know why. Mm -mm. 
on your permanent record. Hi. I just bothered to play. Yeah. Let's look over this. Do, do, do a little, uh, a doodle of a flower too. It'll make it look nice. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The one, the little, you draw a circle and then the the five petals and the okay. little stick for the stem. Yep, yep, that's okay, the let's one. Let's worry yep. about the big fish in front of us, and we'll worry about that one afterwards. Okay. There's no sense in you wasting. That's just that's just unique. That's no, that's no fine. wasting is mm -hmm. not the right term. There's no sense in expending energy on something else right now. Uh-huh. That's cool, what the fuck? No, I the next 15 yet. minutes, mm. we're both about to lose our shit. Okay. Mm. Okay. Sounds good. Mm. You do, do you do the W for the mouth? Well, doesn't sound good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know what you mean. Okay. Uh... Fuck this place. Fuck this state. Oh, I'm sorry, I locked the door in your face. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. See, so, uh, I would like for him to shadow you, essentially. Just in case, you know, there's ever a reason you end up out of town or something like that. Um, then, you know, if, if there is a meeting then he's about and you can invite him to just go with you. So he's I will. Give me a cigar if I've got any. Yeah. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna change out my shirt. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. That's a thing. But. Uh oh. oh that oh. wagon? Just huh. going. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm fine. Okay. Um, hey, uh, the department usually what's the word? Like, night. Howdy. Howdy. Ellie knows she can come over here with us too, right? She's in her head right now. Okay. Just didn't want to make a... Just didn't want her thinking she uh, wasn't really part of us, you know? Yeah, I completely understand. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but she said she needed to be in there, so... Okay. Is uh, is Penny here anywhere? Yeah, she's uh, she's getting changed. You're using her actual name. I take it she gave you the okay. Yep. Hmm. She she did, and uh, she has the okay to actually use my name. to check are we meeting here to go up to the service or are we meeting there i believe so okay. uh which one is he <laughs> I th last i heard we were meeting here at least that's what our paperwork said all right we'll wait here then hmm. okay. i haven't heard otherwise so apologies yeah i i haven't heard otherwise understood hmm. it's good to see you again doctor <sighs> indeed I indeed Wish it was under better circumstances. Well, it's a celebration of a life. Yeah. Of sort. Mm. One gone way too soon. Agreed. How are you all holding up? It hasn't hit Manage. me yet. I just got back from the Appalachians yesterday. I've been gone for the last month. Just trying to clear my head of some things and needed some time. Right. Well, if there's anything you need from us, please don't hesitate. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Yes, thank you. And the same to mm. you guys. If there's anything that we can do, please let us know. I think you're already all doing it. I'm gonna go check in with Marco, but we'll wait here with you. Okay. Okay. Mm. Be right back. Okay. Sorry, yeah, surprise. Forrester has petty privileges now. Ah, I just found that out. This is our group. Yeah, looks like. Just to go. Oh, he's seen. Okay. Um, for those that want to, we're going to be sending her off with a deputy style shoot off. So, for those that want to participate, please grab a Lancaster from the office. Grab mine from our horse. What is it? Yep. For the 21 gun flu. For oh. the salute. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh! Oh, are you okay? You asshole of a horse. Are you okay? Yeah. I Fucker. The other horse didn't kick you. Are we taking horses up there or walking no, up there? No, get my Lancaster off it. Why does this one not show up? Did he kick you? No, he ran me over. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think just park. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to Atlas. Oh, it's a deep. Hold on, hold on, fuck. Yes. Yeah, it's a little too crowded for just sending him away, so. No, I was gonna move him out of town. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. You told me to get you some. Yeah. I'll be back. Sorry. I was gonna shoo him out of town. Might wanna watch out, Clark. Get out of here. Ooh. That's why I warned you. Too cramped for everyone to just send horses out. At least take him to the edge of town, give him a chance. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's mm, he ran he all be. the other You should be extremely whole, ashamed of yourself. He ran the whole fucking way through town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stupid fucking horse. What am I gonna do with you all? I took him to the other side of town. I thought Marry. it was gonna run south. your kneecaps as well are we all just walking up to the graveside or are we going elsewhere yeah it's just I think, a, yeah it's we're just all walking, walking. Walk yeah. oh well then why are we all standing here oh. right. those of us that would be uh doing yeah. the service go Let's ahead and up. begin moving up the hill on foot right and it's yeah. be straight up the hill in the open field just to the right of the exit you'll see them yeah right up okay thanks darling mm -hmm. Ready. The worst song for this too, Chad. I'm just gonna turn off Breath of Rocks here in a minute. Like I said, it hasn't really hit me yet. Just getting back yesterday and finding out. Yeah. I'm sorry, I wanted to be around to tell you. It's okay. Yeah. I didn't believe Rusan when he told me. Is he in over here, Sadie? They're all dead though. I know. Here or further away? Um, just like over. Just along here. Yes. Yeah, right. Right. Thank you. Sure. Uh, 
love. You don't Thomas. mind I'm gonna have uh, people congregate over, over that sort of way. Mm, sure. Given uh plenty of horses will come on by and they'll take nervous steps forward, trust me. time for other folk to uh get here appreciate you all uh coming but right, i can't give you this Get this down when the lights go down, okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty dark out this way, so. Yeah. Everybody's standing in the dark. Mm -hmm. Okay. ready for this chat I'm not ready for this I'm not ready for this I'm not ready for this stands in an awkward silence but feel free to talk amongst yourselves Audrey never did too well in silence so I'll give it five more minutes and we'll open this ceremony and give my sister a send off hmm. wanna get closer <sighs> yeah fuck it Yeah, just hey, Ruben. Anything? Did you use this rifle for today? I can do that. I can do that too.
sit and talk amongst ourselves, but what is there to say? There's nothing to say. Listen to the sleep. Okay, well, uh, all right. Because if everybody's here, we'll get going, and anybody that trickles in can pay their respects later on and uh, join the group when they're ready. It's okay. We're all here to celebrate life and uh, say goodbye to somebody very special to, I think, everybody here today. Never thought I'd be standing here doing this, but here I am. I ask you all to uh, come up and say some words for Audrey. <laughs> Whether you got poems, songs, I don't mind. You, uh, you come up here and you, you say whatever you please. Know that she can hear you. Any final goodbyes or things and regrets that you don't want to have, then uh, now's your time. A sister by uh, law is pretty much the bane of a brother's life. I can attest to this, confirm that with Audrey it was uh, very, very much the truth. Certainly in our uh, younger years, living back in North Dakota. I've shared in conversation with some of you here before about uh, times where I would get in trouble and have to take full accountability and, um, and blame purely for Audrey's actions. Her innocence prevailed tremendously in my parents' eyes. She'd always pause and give me a look knowing exactly what she was doing and... I would then get into trouble of my own, screaming with frustration. As we grew up, uh, I guess we grew up in harmony. Got on pretty well. One thing that the, uh, the sad name was known for, and that's unity. It seems to be that no matter what it comes our way, we always somehow, uh, have happiness persist in some some form. No family's perfect, and everybody's got bad blood from time to time, but I stand here today saying mine's pretty good. I'll, I'll spare you the details of my parents' past, and is it something that I'm choosing not to remember? I really get a choice, and it uh, been forgotten. Audrey had stayed home, taking on a uh, small residence that my parents owned. I came here with both my mother and my father, deceased, and my brother in hopes to lay them to the rest. And here I found a home amongst good people, just like the folk that I'm seeing in front of me. I recently told Ruben here to my left that one of my biggest regrets was not finding my sister sooner. In five, six years, I just accepted that she was far away. I didn't even know if she was alive. Chad, I'm gonna slip to the restroom real fast. Leaving this up for y'all to listen. One day there was a knock at the sheriff's office door in Blackwater. 
and a face that I'd recognize anywhere. I think we've all shared a bond with somebody that she could be apart for many years and the moment you lay eyes on one another, it's like you never left. Burning with joy, she, uh, had a bit of peace in her face that she'd, uh, she'd found me. You know, I'll, uh, never forget the look. Later that day, she took about $2,000 of my money and about three or four of my own weapons. Told me that she's gonna be about. She's not going anywhere. Yeah. She told me she'd grown up. She told me she could shoot. Right, I'm back. She quoted herself as a bit of a gunslinger jokingly. She can cook. She can clean. She tended all the animals, fixed fences, and began reeling off the longest list. She would, uh. I guess she just wouldn't expect. Not from a brother. She spent a lot of her early times uh, hunting here in the crossing. She had a huge anxiety about people not liking her. Not fitting in and not being welcomed. That week I introduced her to some of the folk standing beside you today. And some rangers and other people. And of course, in ordinary fashion, I think within about two weeks, everybody started quoting her to be the better sand. <laughs> she uh, joined the department. She flourished in duty and a life. She took her life back under control. Destroyed everybody's sadness with a charisma, uh, charisma and uh, infectious nature. She fell in love and she uh, fought tirelessly alongside some of you. I always told her that I'm not a father. Another regret of mine is acting like it. But both him and I know he would have been very proud of Audrey. One thing that hurts the most is by logic. An older sibling should never outlive a younger one. It's something that I hold a lot of pain in. Knowing that my little sister was taken away from me and you, not by her own choice. By the cruelty of other people and mistakes of many. been the last two weeks doing my damn best not to see failure in her passing. One thing in my mind is that a big brother's duty is to protect the younger sister. And I know it's not my fault. I know that. Demons always have a way of getting through the most resilient of minds. Death ain't meant to be the end, but I'm telling you right here as I stand here, it certainly feels like it. I don't know where she is now, but I'll miss her. And I will continue to miss her. Till I finally land in the same place. Thank you for reminding me that it's okay to love, that it's okay to laugh, smile and find time to breathe. Thank you for being the one that would always give me the harshest of truths and be my voice of reason, Audrey. And most of all, and most of all, uh, Thank you for being my sister. A title that only you will hold for all of eternity. I love you.
thing is, don't step in the fire. I've never been a man of many words, to be honest. I've been very bad about words and expressing and how I feel. So forgive me how blunt I'm about to be. But I'm going to do my best. Audrey, as we all know, she was the light at the end of the tunnel for many. She always did her best to uh, make people smile when she could. Whether it be a stupid pun or a cheesy joke, she tried her best. It's one of her favorite things to do. She loved everything she did in life, every single moment of it. As Mitch mentioned, she had an abundance of skills. many that we shared and cherished together. And no one at the same point, at one point, uh, we both found ourselves pretty much at the end of our tunnels. It was her that really showed a light in it all. She used to speak to me about this, uh, this concept, I guess. The red string, or the red ball of yarn, something of the sort. Essentially, it's one big ball of yarn that stretches for however long your life may be. And every once in a while, I might get tangled in someone else's yarn. I am so glad, so happy, that my yarn got tangled in hers. God damn it. <laughs> she showed me so much. So much happiness. And I'm sure I can speak for everyone here that she's done the same for many of you. She always had that personality of being there for people. Nothing I say is gonna bring her back. And like I said, I ain't too good at my words. God damn it, Audrey, I fucking miss you. I'm so fucking sorry. Anyone else would like to make some words, please feel free to. <laughs> I thought I'd sing a song for her, but I know now. I reckon I wouldn't get through the first verse. I remember the day I met Audrey. We, uh, we were introduced through a shared horror, horror. That day I saw her warmth and her strength and 
her a fighting spirit. And I knew that she was someone I wanted to get to know. Anytime in her presence, warmth is the first thing I felt. She just... She carried it with her. No matter her mood, she always reminded us to be in the moment. She was someone that always made you feel that no matter how dark the night was, how dark your path, the dawn would always come. I was blessed to call her a sister the time that we had. And my deepest regret was that I was only joking the day that they got married that Hal and I should just go ahead and do it that day because I want nothing more than to hurt me there. I'm sorry we didn't get more time. I love you. Um, <clears throat> I had the honour of being on duty with Audrey and Reading on their final shift in Rhodes. It's important for you all to know that Audrey's last shift was filled with laughter and light-heartedness. And that is how I'm going to choose to remember her. <laughs> Every time I enter the Rhodes Telegram, <laughs> sorry, the Rhodes Sheriff Office, I hear her laughter. It is a tradition in my family when someone passes away, uh, which I now extend to this family. May your soul be calm and your body be at ease. May your mind be still with no more worries. Mm. Mm. May you find the rest that you so deserve. And may your memory live on in the hearts of others. Rest peacefully now. Thank you for being Audrey Sand. Audrey's first shift was also filled with laughter. We, uh, she was a cadet, we took her out to the bottle tree the overlooking roads and heartlands uh, and tried to go through the basics, the fundamentals. And, uh, you know, we were practicing tackles uh, and uh, <laughs> this woman right here tackled me into one of the wagons so hard that I was seeing stars and I thought that my ribs were all broken. Uh, she just looks at me and is like, should have been faster, John. That was always Audrey. 
she always could offer a joke or a smile in the proper time. She always would recognize a joke, even a poor one, and just laugh at it like it was one of the funniest things that she's ever heard. Always bring us light. I, I can't think of anyone better that does that. Whatever will. I hope you folks don't mind it for me to recite a prayer in honor of Father. In your hands, O oh Lord, we humbly entrust our sister. In this life, you embrace her with your tender love. Deliver her now from every evil and bid her enter eternal rest. The old order has passed away. Welcome her then into paradise, where there will be no sorrow, no weeping, or pain, but the fullness of peace and joy with your Son and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Blessed are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest for their labors, and for their good deeds go with them. Eternal rest grant upon her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the soul of all faithful departed grant to the mercy of God rest in peace. Rest well, Abby. You're one of the best ones. Many, many people knew Audrey for her, her smile and her laugh. That's personally one of my favorite things that I love the most about Audrey. Just like what Bishop just said, any situation, she'd find it a way to make someone laugh or smile. Audrey had that personality that not many people have and always seen the better in people looking at the smaller details that people miss. Always made sure everyone felt loved and noticed. And she did that until the day she passed. Having that personality is rare, and it sucks when it's taken away from us so early. And it sucks that we're all here standing today having to say that we lost you, Audrey. I know for the rest of my life I'm going to strive to be like you. Be the better person. Always try to find the light even in the darkest of souls. And have the best outlook in life. Because life is too short, especially here. I do promise that to you. Now, there's one story that I do want to, um talk about and it's not sad it's a little dorky just one of the little quirks Audrey had I think it was back on Independence Day 4th of July something around that date Audrey came out of the sheriff's office in Rhodes her hands full of fireworks and just a grin as big as the state on her face. She was so excited to light up fireworks that she spent almost every penny in her bank account on them just so people can smile. She didn't want any help. She was carrying them, and I mean, in her pockets, her hands, even maybe even holding one in her mouth at times. 
We're so giddy fest. We got everyone around in rows to watch. And she ran off into the woods and placed them down, ran back, and just, it was just her and I and just the rest of the town watching these fireworks go off. She had the biggest smile on her face, and she told me that every penny that she spent, it was worth it, just for that brief moment up in the sky. I just... Not many people do that. And she was freaking special. <laughs> I, uh, up until this moment, I felt numb about losing her in Reading and anyone we've lost her along the way. Maybe it's because it's just disbelief that it can be taken away from us this easily. But I will know for certain through the numbness, Audrey, you will never be forgotten. I miss you. You will forever be my sister. And my favorite, Sam. <laughs> Wiley. Love you. Ladies and gentlemen, got here today to remember who was up for the water. Not just for the bad few words, but for the heart to beat the music. I've had the honor to make her uh, during her production, watching her blade I can barely hear him. In a world that wasn't always welcome into her spirit, and great. Her courage is kind of beyond the line of duty. Passing. 
Dawson has lost. The Beacon. We've all lost Tony, the Pauly, the family member, the partner. But her legacy is the life of Tony Brown's generation to come. May we carry forward this kid. Her lesson and her engagement commitment to the government of the world. Rest in peace. To be all of you. You never know you never lost your touch. Audrey was an incredible person, an incredible friend, an incredible deputy. I would go on patrols with her. There was something about her just told me it was always going to be okay. She gave everything she had into what she was doing in that moment. Everything she had to the people around her. I remember when, when I proposed to my fiance. In preparing for it, I had let her know about a week ahead of time, along with Reuben. And you'd have thought I'd have given her the world with how bright her face lit up and how excited she was. And, just scurrying around to get this and get that, along with Reuben, to get things prepared for what we had planned that night. Seeing her make others happy, I think made her very happy. Echoing what Sadie said about the fireworks and roads. She lived it all to the fullest. She gave everything she had, and she seized every moment she could with those around her. I know as we say goodbye, it's something for us to live for, I guess. We're gonna miss you, Audrey. Miss you so much. Other past, I have been trying to send a telegram every day. 
But every time I would have it on the page and be ready to pass it along, I'd tuck it back in my pocket because it was too hard to sense. I hallucinated. Maybe that's because I was supposed to read it here. I know today is hard, but surround yourself with people who care about you and know that her memory will carry on with her through the gates and into her next adventure beyond our sight. I had the pleasure of knowing her. And like many others, I am truly honored to be counted amongst them. We shared a buggy ride once. And in just that short ride, she pulled from me with ease. Things I even I did not expect to share so openly with someone else. And to think I started that wagon ride with a hope to offer her something to ease her pain and instead she eased mine I never told her what a bright light even in her darkest moment she was I hope that you never forget a single memory you had with her I hope that time will bring a smile each time you close your eyes and think of her. Each time you hear her laughter carried across the wind. I know I will. <laughs> she did so much for so many. Things I hope are never forgotten. Just has any words they wish to say for uh, Audrey to the group, then I open you now to go up individually if you want to say some uh, words in private. Once again, I uh, thank you all for coming today. I get a little bit of strength seeing everybody, so I thank you. Patch was we be able to assist with the firing link, uh, the, the salute? Yeah, of Good course. My honor. Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks. Is... 
cheeky little maple. And Chef, would you be able to? Oh, uh, sorry, what was the question? Would you be able to lead the salute? Ugh. I've never done it before. Why? Time to learn. You'll do fine. Is that three shots? Three shots, yes. Aye. Okay. Just tell uh, us to get ready and then to fire off each shot on your command. Aye, okay. I'll give folks mm -hmm. some time. I have the group prepared already, so don't worry about that. Perfect, thank you. Better go get something from the horse from inside strawberry for the sleep. Just lay down here with strawberry. Okay. I'll make my way back to the room later tonight. Okay, darling. And that thing I wanted to talk to you about? Yeah, it, it can wait a little bit, right? Mm. I was gonna say, let's wait until tomorrow. Yeah. Just before anybody else goes up and uh, speaks to Audrey, we're going to do a gun salute, led by Under Sheriff Wild. Oh, the shooters, if they uh, 
can form up on the under sheriff. Follow their orders. Hey, Mugawa, just by the flowers here. <laughs> Graceful. <laughs> you didn't say it. Play with you don't me. like to um line up. Just uh, listen towards everybody else. Yeah. I'm going to be conducting a rifle salute as as tradition when a member of Come on, guys. Department falls in service. Make a good line. You will fire three times in a row, one after the other. I'll give you the first command. If you could already your weapons, please make sure they're loaded. Point them high above the tree line. And on my command. Ready. Fire. 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 Say something to her. I just want to give something to her first. Okay. Of course. For anybody that uh, wishes to leave, no, please do so. Once again, I uh, thank you for, for coming today. You are welcome here anytime. If you'd like to stay, then please do. There's no so plan much. for drinks, there's no plan for any after parties and celebrations. I think a lot of us just want to uh, take some time on our own. Let's make sure everybody's safe tonight. Just because Audrey's gone doesn't mean that there's other people out there that need our help. Let's remember why we swore that oath. And why we protect folk and save and rescue folk each and every day in Audrey's memory and everybody else that we've lost I hate funerals, chat. I hate funerals.
tried writing something, but didn't quite finish it. It's okay. I gave him one of the cigars, too. One of the what? One of the cigars you gave me. I invited him to have drinks tomorrow. Mm. Talk anything except the job. Just yeah. hang out man to man. It's a good idea. Mm. If you're awake tomorrow and we get that chance, you're welcome to join. Yeah, I'd like that. I would too. Thank you once again, everybody. better circumstances. time for lunch on him anyway. Your time is not up, Buckley. Not if I have anything to say about it. There's so many good people that deserve to keep living and they're gone. Be it somehow the people that got nothing to lose or I know. Yeah, I should have been dead. Shouldn't have been Frank. Shouldn't have been Audrey. Shouldn't have been Red. Should have been the fucking kid who got nothing to lose. But I'm the one that's still here. You have plenty to lose, Buckley. And you have plenty to fight for. fighting for you too. So. Weren't the one off in the mountains. You weren't the one who told nobody where you were going. dwelling on the shoulds and could-haves. I know. It's just all finally starting to hit. I found out less than 24 hours ago. No, no. Right. Now I'm standing here at my friend's grave. Gotta keep going. Cause if we don't, the memory of her is gone. The unlucky bastards like you and me, buddy, are we're the ones who make sure she stay alive. 
You're right, but you're wrong with one word, Buckley. We're not the unlucky bastards. We're the lucky ones because we got to know her. We're the lucky ones because we have an example that she's left us. We're the lucky ones because our lives are a bit better because she was in it. I never, thanks. I never got to tell her I looked up to her like a big sister. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. No. I should, I should have told her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm the most proud of her for? I used to bitch at both her and uh, Ruben for not starting to date earlier. I would say, what are you waiting for, you two idiots? Uh, you know, we live in a dangerous job. You know, who knows when your day with Christ is? And they both looked at me uh, like, you know, speaking gibberish. But I told them, look, you don't know what tomorrow will bring, so you might as well make sure that you're living happy right now. And one day I receive a telegram from, oh no, I actually don't. I clock on duty and I see that Audrey is no longer Sam, but a Wiley and uh, in the <laughs> paper. And I sent a telegram to both uh, her and Ruben, like, you little sons of bitches. So you had a fucking <laughs> wedding without me. I'm literally like Ruben's best man. Like, yeah, well, you know, we just had a moment Surprise. and we figured, fuck it. Perfect. you know. We start. We got tired of waiting and planning. And that was That's so fair enough. Problem. That's fair enough. Yeah. I reckon it's a lesson for all of us. Mm -hmm. That is. A lot of us are planners and schemers. Fuck planning. Sometimes we just gotta go and make ourselves happy. Just do. Mm -hmm. No thoughts. Just do. Mm-hmm. Bishop, you're very right. No thoughts, just do. <sighs> what I want to do right now is inappropriate today. So I'll save it for tomorrow. I already know what you want to do, not today. <laughs> Than tomorrow. Okay. I know you too fucking well, Mark. Luckily. Yeah. Will you be around tomorrow? I can sure try to be. Why? Because I'm gonna round up everybody around us that uh, we can. I'm gonna find an undersheriff or a sheriff. And I'm gonna take this woman to be my bride with whoever can be there. Fuck the planning, fuck the ceremonies. I'm tired of waiting and planning. I'm going to take my happiness by the hand. And I'm gonna lock it in for the rest of my life. You're stupid. I love you. Telegram me when and where, brother, and I'll be there. Yeah, we will do. As soon right. as we know, we'll telegram a few folks, grab who else we can. Okay. And if they're there, they're there, and if they're not, they're not. Okay. Okay. It goes for you too, Bishop. Thank you, Hutch. I'll try to make it. If you're not, I understand. Short notices are never good for anyone.
I'm around if you need me, duckling. Just let me go check with a friend. Of course. Just gonna check on Thomas. Okay. You okay? No. But I will be. Not okay, Ed. But we will continue to support each other as she supported us. Yeah. You have my permission. Permission. You have my permission to beat the shit out of me if I do not make it to your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I won't blame no one with how late it is. I know. But I want you to know that I will be there. And if yeah. I am not there, you have my permission to absolutely kick my ass into next week. <laughs> okay. Because what good is an adopted dad who can't make his own daughter's wedding? Hey, Bishop. Hmm. Do you know? They certainly don't taste the same. <laughs> no, they taste like shit. Mark, what? you've met Thomas Callahan, right? A uh, time or two. Good to yeah. see you, Hutch. Hey, good to see you, too. For once, it's, it's not while we're on the job. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're both sort of running around like chickens with their fucking heads cut off. <laughs> I think I'd rather run in. I think I'd rather run into you on duty than run into you here. Oh, yeah, that's valid. Yeah, yeah. that's very valid. But well, uh, at least, uh, at least this time I'm not having to run around keep an eye on bluestone on something too. <clears throat> Thank you. See? No, it's okay. Hey, Schaefer. Daddy. Will you be around tomorrow? Uh, we don't need much. Hmm. What's going on tomorrow? I'm gonna grab this little lady here and whoever I can find, sign off, and I'm gonna marry her. And I want you there, if possible. Yeah, you just give me a time to be there. As soon as we know a time, we'll let you know. You too, Thomas. Hmm. I'll be there. Yeah, okay. and we're not holding against anybody who can't since it's short notice. What did I say earlier? Don't think, just do. There we go. Yeah. That works. You know, Wallace, I would probably give you a score for what you're saying right now if you were in front of three different people. I don't think this do. Yeah. You know me, when do I ever think? And what is she ever listening to a scolding? I'm surprised. I, I mean, you know, Schaefer has a point. Schaefer puts the fear of God in me sometimes. Yeah, he puts the fear of God in me, too. Schaefer is the fear of God. <laughs> God made Schaefer and said, oh, fuck, I made him too powerful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, let's go with that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Uh, don't worry. I haven't forgotten what you said in Blackwater, Schaefer. 
And you know exactly which conversation I'm referring to. Oh. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm worried now. Don't worry about it's it. Extremely rude of me to say that I actually don't remember. But again, I am pushing 40, so. <laughs> That was when you told me that if I do anything to hurt her, I'm a dead man. I would never say that. You sure as hell implied it. He never said he didn't imply it. Schaefer, we're getting too old for this shit. I was here six months ago and I'm back here again. I'm going to be at another grade the month. It was in a month. Reading, probably. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know that they'd picked a time for Reading's yet. Oh, I'm just guessing. Mm. to do this, but I think it's about time I make my way back to town and lay down. I'm starting to get tired. Okay, I'll meet you there. I won't be far behind. Okay. Slow hutch. Hmm. Hope I'll see you both tomorrow. Fuck! That's two days in a row I've ugly cried as fuck in fucking RP. God damn it. Alright, chat. I really, really need to go walk my dog because she's giving me dirty looks all night. I'm getting the dirtiest of looks right now, too, from her. Oh my god. She is. Oof. Um. But yeah, so I picked up Ladybug from the vet earlier today too, guys. Um, she was so happy. She was bouncing. She was jumping. Tail wagging. She was just, she was a happy puppy. Uh, is that a heart? It is. Yeah, I did. I, to be fair, I don't think I got the first batch. The deputies I did first. So, uh... oh. Wait, what about eating a badge there, I Sheriff? Do, I, I just need to clean up this mess. Give me a second. <laughs> yourself see you well just getting back yesterday from leave of absence and finding out everything that's happened uh, yeah it doesn't get any better sorry sir ah it's been a wild 24 hours well uh listen it's uh, it's good to have you back i gotta go uh right out to Cisco apparently because these two need to go visit someone so i mean you're welcome to tag along but it's uh if you're on duty you might want to just get back into it yeah, I appreciate the offer, but uh, fiance is coming on, coming down here in a minute. I gotta go to bed. All right, you uh, you take care of that. Listen, you got a lasso on you? I actually don't, unfortunately. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> who's that up there? Is that Archer? That, uh, that is Forrester and his fiance okay i won't uh disturb girlfriend that. fiance something like that partner whatever i don't know yeah all right thank you mind if i join you two for a minute 
Yes, Hutch. Go away. All right, bye. No, come. No, no. <laughs> I know you were just being sarcastic, be Rooster. It's okay. <laughs> Somebody actually saw us. Oh my God. Yeah, first yeah. time. So did Sheriff Hart. He was asking uh, who you two were. Oh. Yeah. One person yeah. that he he knows. Oh. I don't believe I've... Have I met Hart? I don't think I've met Hart. You have met Hart once. I've met Hart. Once, yes. Once. Mm-hmm. I remember mm. it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, did you tell him who we were, or did you just ignore <laughs> him and walk off? I told him who y'all were. Like, I'm gonna fucking ignore a sheriff. I do it all the time. <laughs> It's just, oh, those uh, people. Yo, Fortune, thank you for following. It's fine. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice, Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. Well, I don't mean to say hi and then run off, but I actually need to be running to bed. Um, okay. No, okay. I am going to tell the three of you. That tomorrow, uh, I'm going to find whatever sheriff or under sheriff has five minutes and whoever's available. And I'm going to go marry Shipman. And you're all welcome to be there if you're awake. I'm tired of waiting and planning. Hopefully I'm awake when you find the sheriff. Hmm. Me too. No, I will telegram you guys if I find out you're around or even if you're not. And if you don't Please make do. it, that's fun. Yeah, I'm, I most likely won't, but congratulations anyways. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Speaking of the gremlin. Speak of the gremlin and she appears. Hello, yes. Oh, do you want me to... Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Sand. Hi, Penny. Do you want me to reach the thing? No, not today. What? All right. He lacked me. I handed him the speech that I was trying to write. Mm. He read it. He lacked it. Mm. Ready. No, you just your head on my it's okay. I will it's be okay. right back. God, I'm um, fucking rude. Yeah, no, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been... I know it's so rude of him. Uh, you just got comfortable. Fuck you. I'm moving. It's <laughs> about right. It's about how it goes. Sounds about right. Hmm. Sadie, Ellie, how have you two been? It's been a long I'm time. Boring. How are you all doing? Uh, Ellie, you want to go first? Let me come up there. Um, recently tortured, but otherwise okay. I heard oh, about Jesus that. Christ. I am... Forrester told me I am so sorry that you both went through that. It's okay. Hello, I you guys. I am just upset that he went through it, but I am... Howdy, Tori. Been a while. Hmm. Hope you've been holding up. Our yeah. Support. Yeah, doing yeah. all right. It still hasn't really hit me. Just found out yesterday, actually, but... Oh my god. That's what happens when you go to the Appalachian Mountains for a month and don't tell anybody but the marshals. Yeah, it's, uh... I never really expected a uh, feeling the way that I do, but I do. Hmm. Well, it's one of those moments where you think that you'll be able to handle it and you realize you can't. It yeah. doesn't get easier, doesn't unfortunately. Mm -mm. It no, it doesn't. Yeah, it really does not get easier. No. At all. No, 
doesn't. Oh. Forester, is it bad that I want to like carve something into your cane? Do it. It's right there. It's done. Not anything. God. It's gonna no, be a dick. Cart. Okay, it's gonna man. be a dick. Okay. No, it's gonna be a dick. Okay, maybe don't do that then. Please don't <laughs> carve a dick into my cane. This is the lady I'm marrying, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Oh. I'm just glad oh, that I don't have my cane on me. Even <laughs> in classy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, oh. Oh, nope, that's not a dick. Okay. Congratulations. I I went into the general store and um, the back door was closed and Mitch just disappeared. I imagine that he probably wants to be alone right now. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I... I can sympathize with how he feels. Best way to describe it is it fucking sucks. Go to your job. Yeah. Howdy, is anybody inside? No, we're all over here. Yeah, we're all on the What's porch up, over here, Clem. Clem. Oh, is somebody is somebody inside? Oh. Oh hey Did Schaefer is alright. Uh. No. It is good to see everybody again. I've missed all of you, but I'm actually going to try to go to bed now. I've been saying that for the last 20 minutes. Yeah, go to bed. Yeah. Go to bed. Yes. I'm trying to, okay? I've seen you Rest, you Rest well, folks. Yeah, I will hopefully see you all tomorrow, oh, and days. hopefully tomorrow we can all smile a bit. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're coming with me. Uh, what? What? Yeah. Oh. What? You're coming with me. Oh, okay. Am I coming back? Yes. If okay. you want to. Uh, okay. Actually, I don't mind the cigars. Yeah, I bought them in the general store here in Strawberry. The back is not too bad. Yeah. I mean... I feel like I like it more because you're not inhaling it. Mm. Yeah, you just kind of let the flavor roll over your tongue a bit. Kind of like a whiskey. Okay. Uh, I coming in or? Yes. Okay. Also, I like your hair. you and I have missed that this last month. Ooh, mm. Burnt you with the scar, dummy. I don't care. Keep your fucking voices down, goddammit. <laughs> You're jealous, okay? I'm sorry, Uncle <laughs> Schaefer, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm going to bed, and I wanted to tell you that I love you. It's a bear. And I will see you tomorrow. You want me to wear a dress or? I want you to wear whatever you want to wear. This is I'm our wedding. A, I'm wearing a suit. Okay. White suit. But the big question is. Yes. Do you want to take my last name? Yes. All right. Penny then. Wallace Hutchinson sounds good. Well then, by the end of tomorrow, you will be Penny Wallace Hutchinson. And you will be my bride. Okay. I love you. Love you. I will see you in Rhodes later tonight, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Have a good sleep, uh, okay? Also, that case of Camden's? Mm -hmm. Don't you dare touch it until tomorrow, at least. When we're looking <sighs> at it together. Okay. I know you too okay. well. Don't do it. Don't think about it. I, I'm going to think about it, but okay. Yeah. Don't okay. worry about it until later. We'll look at it then. All right. I love you, Penny. 
W T Mark. I can sleep. Yeah. You can Same socialize too. if you want to, and I will see you soon. I just need a little rest. Yeah, that's okay. I might socialize for a little bit and then put my head down. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Okay. Good night. Good night. Love you. Good night, my love. You're dumb. Do you like it, though? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, chat, that's where we're going to call it tonight. I appreciate everybody being here. Uh, I appreciate all the love across everywhere we are. Um, you guys are awesome. Big shout out to Ashen, uh, who played Deputy Audrey Sand. Um, it, no one has ever made me ugly cry on stream like she just did. So, uh, with that, guys, um, for those of y'all on Twitch, we're going to go raid. Actually, is she even live right now? No, I think she's probably not live. Um, Yeah, no, she's not live. All right. Uh, you know what? We're just going to call it here. I appreciate everybody. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. So anyway, love y'all. Have a good night. If you're not part of the Discord, you should be. Get notifications on where we're at, what we're doing. Until then, peace, love, and all the slappy things. Tell someone you love them, and I'll see y'all on the other side. <laughs>